Oh god, I don't even have any music. <sighs> Shit. I wonder which one was the one that played in the... No, that's not the one, right? No, that's the combat sections, I think. <laughs> nope. This soundtrack is pretty fucking sick, though, gotta admit. <laughs> ah, that soundtrack is funny. Uh, hold on, anyway, what was I- What was I going for, anyway? Was I going for an ahead in time soundtrack? I don't know, honestly. Yeah, I, I guess let's go for the safe bet. <laughs> God damn it. Should probably do the fucking announcement on Discord before I lose my marbles. to wait. Oh god, if nobody shows up, this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> I mean, I guess worst comes to worst, I just delete the stream out of shame. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I am s so fucked. It would kind of awkward if no one showed up. Hi, John. So, I made a horrible uh, decision. I started up a stream. I, 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 I started up stream without actually knowing what I'm gonna do in the stream. Like, I don't have a plan for what I'm gonna play. I just started the stream because I was like, okay, I haven't stream streamed in way too long, and uh, maybe just starting one is gonna like force me to think of something. And I am in deep, deep pain. <laughs> Sculpt a cock. No, that's probably against TOS. Decision from Satsio. Who could have guessed? Yes. I think this is legit the first time where I started the stream without actually knowing what I want the stream to be. You know, like, where, like without knowing, hey, I want to play this game or that game. Or without even a theme, like, um, with the rooster. You, you know how, how Twitch is. The, those the xenophobic assholes, they don't like chicken. They're all vegetarians and shit. They're all bigots. Don't appreciate my lifestyle of eating cock. <laughs> okay. I know, easy joke to make. But yeah, uh, any ideas from you fellas? I am... Um, honestly, I'm starting to understand why so many streamers have uh, just become React Andes. Like, legit, at... at I, I, I had this thought just uh, just as I had like OBS start up like this is probably why so many fucking streamers out there just Just watch content all the time because you know it, if, if you're like one of those psychos who like streams every day At some point you are just gonna run out of like things to say and things to do and it's like yeah at that point You just you just like yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open the open YouTube and like play babysitter Don't appreciate me slapping down big cock here yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. But yeah, no, I'm. I, I did, did. I genuinely. I think I correct the, the case. Uh, why so many streamers become React Andes? It's just you know you're like, hmm, what should I do? And uh, the easy answer is you know, just open up YouTube and do the same thing you do on your own offline. But now you know you have a stream running in the background, and you maybe occasionally pause to comment on something. I can't even say I I can't even hate on them because I I unironically watch 
so, some of the streams that I watch, like Pyro or uh, Charlie, when they do react, Andy, I, I actually do watch that. But, you know, it's easy con, it's kind of what people want to see. Hey, yeah, that's right, isn't it? That's 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 a weird thing, though. And again, like the the, the whole thing with um, re reaction content, like that used to be a bad word. That's that. I mean, I, I know a lot of people have made the comparison already. Like, yeah, what if uh, that what was his face? Um, Jinx, like one of those, what if one of those reaction channels came back? Eh, they wouldn't be hated that much. People want famous people's opinions on random shit. I guess. Yeah, it, it's, it, it is weird just how often in, like, um, big streamer chats you see, like, Hey, react to this video. Hey, react to that video, you know? It's like, and even then, I would argue there's, like, a difference, a difference to be made between... You, you know, like, I, I can understand something like, um... Uh, fucking hell, what is that stupid-ass channel called? Uh, the one with... Oh my god, I forgot his name. The the dude who works in a museum in London and is like, you know, a gun expert, reacting to like guns in games. You know, that 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 I can appreciate. Like this whole subgenre of like experts reacting to games and movies and giving their insights. That I think is totally okay because you know, it's somebody who's like very informed in that field, uh, kind of like giving their know-how, being like, "Oh yeah, you know, you see you, you see the way he reloads that gun now. Oh, you wouldn't actually do, be able to do that in real life. They they like did some weird thing with the 3D model, but uh, whatever." Like those ones, those ones I'm totally okay with because that's like, you know, you you, you want to know what the what the smart man says about uh, your favorite media. But yeah, then you just have, you know, Mr. Streamer man uh <laughs> Honestly, I just had a thought of like um, checking out the biggest streamers. Oh god, no! Don't do that. Wait! Whoa! 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 Is 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 the fucking first stream that Twitch is throwing my way? Is it actually a React Andy? No, it might actually be a game cutscene. <laughs> you know, I was about to say, wouldn't it be funny if I opened Twitch and like checked out how many streamers are currently, you know, doing React Andy? And I was, I was like, it's the very first fucking streamer that um, Twitch throws my way. Is he currently reacting to something? No, because the guy doesn't uh, really have any insight beyond what I could think of for like 90% of the time. I think maybe people just want to hear people share their opinion on shit. Yeah. I mean, occasionally on some topics I can see why, you know. But on others, it's, I, I, I think it's legit just, I think part of it is just, you know, it's a video that they know and they're like, oh, I want to see his reaction to like three minutes and 30 seconds and, and the, the, the cool part that happens there. It's like whenever I, just out of sheer curiosity, like check out reactions to certain famous videos, I usually just skip ahead to like the moment I know was like the most hype or something like that. And I'm like, okay, I want to see the reactions for this moment. Because I, I think that's also part of it, like, people want to see, yeah, this this one moment is really hype, I, I want to see what he thinks about it. If you especially if the presenter is an expert or whatever, yeah. What's hot? There's Minecraft with 5k viewers. I search for 35 hours and one zombie. All mobs, extreme, heute ist der Tag. That's a German! German streamer, and he has 5k viewers. Holy god. Holy guacamole. Okay, good for him. That's Rocket League, 43k. Oh, Paris Major. Okay, yeah. Uh, Esports. Yeah, 88k. Jesus fucking Christ. The Death's React to Speedrun series IGN uh, that was good. Oh, yeah, shit, I need to check that out. I think I heard about it once and, like, kind of just forgot about that. Oh, and there's there, there's the first piece of Coomer bait. Oh, my God! She unironically fucking wrote names on her thigh. They actually do that? Jesus. Oh, and it's an it's an it's an ASMR stream. Uwu Oni Chan ear licking. Uwu mouth sounds ASMR. Jesus Christ! Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> like I, I, like I I I just had to scroll down for like 
a bit, and it's it's a pe it's the first piece of Coomer bait. Oh, it's because it's it's a just chatting uh, category. Yeah, she she only has has a bra on. It is it is funny though. It's just I think that maybe we should just not let women on the internet. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't you fucking say that. You 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 know you know exactly if, if like if like horny women were as willing to like uh, shell uh, shell out money as like sims, then you you know exactly that guys would be doing the exactly exactly the same. That, that'd be like some dude shirtless with like these chisel fucking abs. You know, every every five minutes he he stretches and like mm, flexes his muscles, and all the girls in the chat go crazy. You know exactly that would be doing that, and and he'd be like, yeah, if you uh, if you pay ten bucks, I'm gonna write you your name on one of my abs. You know, you know exactly he'd do that. I do. That. Yeah, see what I mean. <laughs> like it's it's not it's not a women thing. It's a it's a it's a it's a human thing. It's just people are fucking. I don't know. People are strange. <laughs> Should I just slot this into the just chatting category? Is is that what we're doing today? Am I just sitting here uh, talking with you, John? I, I, I don't know I don't know if I wanna I don't know if I wanna bear that burden actually being in the just chat uh, ca there's too much porn though yeah uh, yeah that's that's what I'm saying I'm, I don't know if I can bear that burden of being in the just ch uh, chatting category like I feel like that would leave a stain on my soul you know oh yeah breath of the wild's been going crazy oh and the vtuber of course that's also mandatory Dark Souls? Okay. Oh, ew! Dark Souls 2. Uh, why would you be doing that, my man? Somebody playing FIFA? Blame. Warzone? Meh. CSGO tournaments? Okay. What Breath of the Wild? I think Breath of the Wild's been popping off a bit again. Or maybe it's always just been popping off. Porn is good, but, it, but at some point it's a bit too much. <laughs> you don't say. Wait, I'm not seeing any. I'm sorry. The, the the first guy that popped up for me, who's like, who was watching something, who, and who I thought was maybe a reaction, a react Andy. Like, I'm not seeing any interactive part that he's just watching CGI cutscenes. Is it just react Andy? Or is this like, is this like the game that he's running and so that you just sit, sit down and watch a fucking cutscene for uh, two hours? Oh my god. Imagine if that became a category for like Twitch. If like developers started making games that you just act that you just turn on and uh, start running, you know, while you while your stream's going, so that you don't have to do anything. Thirty percent chance of having <laughs> Lamau. That's hilarious. What would I even find if I cl uh, if I opened YouTube? One of my own videos. Thank you, uh, Mandler Gaming. Uh, video, fair enough. Armor related stuff. Okay, yeah, that's kind of my fault. Max Payne, yeah. Uh, Cursed Halo, yeah. Ace Combat Emulation, also my fault. What are you gonna do? Shoot me, get shot, Supercut Combination. Breaking Bad, but in Germany, bruh. Actually, hold on. How bad is the German? Josef, we müssen kochen. Oh god, this music might be copyrighted. Hold on. Just gonna, just gonna wait for when, when they're actually saying something. Offensichtlich hat er denselben Geschmack für Würstchen wie für seine Anwälte. Nur die allerbesten. Mit genau der richtigen Menge an Schmalz. Well, are your old videos still haunting you? I think it was. I think it was the source artist experience, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 the source artist experience. Is it React Andy if it's my own video? Like, hold on. That's that's. Uh... Right there. Right there. I can't actually play the music though. It's. <laughs> But yeah, um, for some reason this just pops up in my recommended. Oh, I know why. 
Oh, because I'm on I'm on on my other account. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. See, this uh, this the three uh, three archive account. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me switch that then. Yeah. Big surprise. I'm sub to my uh, to my own channel with my other account. Mainly though, that was just to see if uh, notifications actually worked. I guess I could just unsub at this point. It doesn't really make a difference. Sideseal does not upload videos anymore. Okay. Let's see. What does it, what does Sideseal get recommended? Early wipe luck is real. Escape from Tarkov. Coomer's final speech from HLVR AI, but it's on the tail ending. Some vine sauce. Okay, that's good. Bank restoration. Payday 3 teaser trailer. Bruh. I'll get the hang of it eventually. Is 3D modeling related? Oh, it's an animation, I see. Yeah, Google must be well aware that I'm that I that I am in cahoots with 3D modeling because occasionally it just throws me videos like that. Like, hold on. I swear every fucking school uses Canvas. <laughs> Is a Canvas in your bookmarks? Yeah, yeah, that's Canvas. <laughs> You're right. That's actually fucking Canvas. But yeah, um, occasionally Google is just like, here, watch this. You know, it's 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 somebody like animating a thing. I mean, it looks nice, but okay, occasionally I'm I'm, I'm just like, okay, Google, but why? <laughs> why though? Yeah, Canvas is funny. Uh, <laughs> good to know that you guys use that too. A Perun video, that's nice. More Half-Life related stuff, Max Payne 2, Kurzgesagt, Ahoy, man, honestly, I'm shocked, okay, may may maybe I'm wrong, maybe I just haven't seen them, but I'm genuinely shocked that Ahoy, this channel hasn't, like, become absolutely, like, uh, overrun with, like, React Andes, because it's like, his vids are so fucking good. I don't know, may maybe they know, like, if, 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 the, if the viewers hear, like, his... Silky smooth uh, narration. They're like, nah, I don't want to listen to this other bat, this other idiot anymore. Two of the completely unrelated people whose schools use canvas. <laughs> That's amazing. All right. Um, let's see. What does Steam have to offer? I mean, this is like the third time today that I scroll through my Steam library without seeing anything. But who knows? Maybe you know, maybe third or fourth or fifth times the charm. You know. Who knows? <laughs> I'd love to stream and play something, but, uh, you know. Kind of just a question of what? Aside from Half-Life. HL2 playthroughs of like 38 views. That's, that's hilarious. Some randoms first time playing HL2. Hmm. Now that, that now that would be a funny uh, series, wouldn't it? Like normies playing really, really like famous and uh, influential games for the first time, and seeing what they think of it, and much more likely how much they fail at it. And interesting to see the TBH. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the first reaction to stuff because I'm pretty sure you and I know HL2 like in and out at this point. Like I. I'm fairly certain I could probably remember most scripted sequences in my head. So it's like seeing somebody else do it for the first time, you're like, Ooh, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. He doesn't know that there's a shotgun coming around the corner. Or, oh, he doesn't know that there's two poison headcrabs uh, that are gonna fall down from the ceiling. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of something like that. Hmm. Oh yeah, John, this is gonna be a secret between you and me. Or you and I. There we go. So you know, promise to keep a secret. Uh, I am currently holding something in my hand, and it's up my cock, I know. It's a, it's a Valve Steam Deck. I recently realized that I actually started selling these things in uh, Switzerland. I was like, I need one. I require the Steam Deck. 
And now I have one. HL2 runs on it. Ace Combat as well. Actually, a lot of stuff uh, runs on it. Some that you wouldn't actually expect uh, to. But yeah, I tried it out uh, out in the way. His take life on stream. You know, that actually makes me wonder, would that be against TOS if the guy doesn't have like a webcam? Like, you know, he's, he's, he's holding his dick on stream, yeah, but if there's like no webca webcam involved, would that actually be break any kind of TOS aside from like the implication? Jeez, that was like my first time having sex. No fucking way to find the hole. Anyhow, uh, yeah, uh, let's, you know, but let's keep it a secret that I own a Steam Deck because that thing costs a lot of money and if people know that I own that, I, I won't be able to make the I have no money joke. Holding his dick. We we'll just assume he's joking. True. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no, I'm in the H section of Steam. Oh no, so many games in my Steam li uh, library that start with H. Like, ha, uh, this. And, uh, uh, Halo. And Hat in Time. And Headlander. And nothing else. There's, there's nothing like, like, I was fired. Fuck off. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's it. There's there's no other games in my uh, Steam library that start with H. Nothing at all. Oh, I guess Hitman. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of games that start with H. What the fuck? Fuck is Hearts of Iron the only game I could think of that starts with H? <laughs> Good question. Hotline Mammy. True, that also starts with H. Hidden Deep, Hellspot Arena, Hellblade. Uh, um. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else. Fucking hell. <laughs> it took you this long. <laughs> it took you this fucking long, bro. Jesus Christ. John, you you, you alright? You, you need like a checkup or something? <laughs> oh, like I was, I was purposefully skirting around, uh, you know, s saying Half-Life by name. Cause uh, I was like, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to make the haha -ha funny Half-Life joke. Where the fuck do I think of Hearts of Iron before Half-Life? Dude, I, I, I think you need to get that checked up, man. That, 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 that doesn't sound too good. All right, let's see. What is Twitch recommending me as a streamer? Here's of Might and Magic Three. No, starts no. Elder Scrolls Adventures Red Guard. Oh, probably because I played Oblivion. Torchlight Infinite, no. Gwent, no. Yu-Gi-Oh, no. Arknights, no. Tower Fantasy, no. Aeon, no. Core Keeper, no. No, no. Blood Bowl 2, no. Pokemon Go. Who the fuck streams Pokemon Go? No. Eve Online, no. Raid Shadow. Wait, there are people who are unironically streaming Raid Shadow Legends? What? How? What the fuck? That is interesting. So there's Half-Life Deathmatch source. <laughs> they gotta be making big money. Huge money even. You mean like huge drama? Final Fantasy VII, no. Call of Dragons, no. Man, how the fuck do people do that? Just just streaming every day. I guess if you're playing like a an online game. That for some reason people are very very invested in like a multiplayer game. That's probably one way of like consistently just streaming something. Cause like you know my my dumbass decided to be a single player. I'm like yeah yeah I you know I play through I play through most single player games that I enjoy already on fucking YouTube. Honestly, <laughs> I think that's one of the problem. Probably one of the biggest my biggest issues is. 
Most games that I can think of that I'd like to stream, I already streamed back on YouTube. <laughs> it's such a fucking L. God damn it. I just, I just, I, I, I just keep, I just keep getting L's, don't I? A bigger chat that probably helps, low. Ah, true, that probably helps a bit with uh, motivation, you know? Knowing like, whoa! Okay, headphones just went bye-bye. Sorry, my headphones just fucking committed harakiri. Harakiri. There we go. Fuck me. The battery's not even empty! What the fuck? Okay. Whatever. Play uh, HL2 VR or some shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you know, Dusk, I, I played that on YouTube. The Resident Resi 2 remake, played that on YouTube. Halo, I played all of that uh, back on YouTube. Titanfall 2, I played that on YouTube. God damn it, I just keep taking L's. Even fucking Half Life Alex, I played that on YouTube. God damn it. Fear, played that on YouTube. Hall Knight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was YouTube. Uh, I guess MGR I got to play on Twitch. Woohoo! Hotline Miami, I played it on YouTube. Dead Space 2, played it on YouTube. Bioshock. Well, I guess at this point I also played it a bit here on Twitch, so whatever. Uh, Ghost Runner, played it on YouTube. Lost in Vivo, played it on YouTube. Oh, and fucking almost every fucking Ace Combat game played it on YouTube. God damn it. Project Wingman, as well, I did get to make the Mercenary run. But nobody cared for that! Even though I was, you know, I was giving it my best. This on one played on YouTube. Shit. All of fucking Crisis, at least the Crisis that I care about, played on YouTube. Dang it. Vanquish played on YouTube. <laughs> oh no. I I divine Cybermancy played on fucking YouTube. I just I just keep taking L's, don't I? That's that's just the story of my life at this point. It's just I take L's and uh, I I don't know. I spent those three years replacing various HLA features with HL2 versions. Wait, what? I've kind of built up HLA as a terrible game in my head because it's been like three years since I actually played it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Like HLA, Hello Alex is not a bad game. Quite the contrary, actually. No stealth games. Damn. What a shame. Fighting games? Well, too bad I don't fucking play fighting games. FPS... Really? Halo Infinite? Uh, average channels, 897. Average uh, viewers per channel, 3. Ouch! No, oh, people are still playing Portal. People are still playing Goldeneye. People are still playing Half-Life! <laughs> It's like, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, I, I like to meme about me streaming Half-Life over and over again, but genuinely, every fucking time I look through, like, the Twitch analytics and it's, like, category suggestions, Half-Life is somewhere in there. Like, Half-Life, average viewers per channel, 4, average channels streaming it right now, 25, estimated browser, uh, browser position, 5. I, I, I'm not even fucking joking! For some reason, just Twitch loves Half-Life. I don't fucking know why. I don't get it. It's kind of mid compared to what uh, Valve has done in the past. HL2 was like 15 years ahead of its time. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, don't get me wrong. HL2 is a fantastic fucking game, but... Its gameplay is... Uh, I don't know. Like, the set pieces are cool. A lot, uh, a lot of the like physics-based um, interaction is cool. But like, the actual fighting... You know. I, I think if we were able to go back, um, street, uh, Valve would probably be like, yeah, we, we need to we need to change the combine so that we can actually show off their uh, their AI. Getting over uh, over it. Jeez, average 17 w viewers. Bruh. Too bad I don't know that. Oh, hey, that game. I know Observation Duty. I watched... Um, I don't remember anymore what uh, which stream it was, but which one of the uh, stream played that? Pretty interesting. Oh god, Garden of Ban Ban. Jesus Christ. That game pisses me off with how bad its 3D models are. With how bad its everything is, actually. Like... 
I, uh, Garden of Batman just pisses me off as like a 3D modeler because holy fucking guacamole, that game is so badly done. I just, I just, I just want to puke. The least of the game's problems. I know, but still. Should I just go back to Oblivion? <laughs> you thought it was nothing, but it's actually an Oblivion stream. I don't fucking know. That's kind of a... I, 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 I need, like, a fallback option, don't I? Like, something I can consistently stream without having to worry about it get... Without having to worry about it getting stale. Hmm... But also something I can make interesting and entertaining. Shit. <laughs> I don't actually know. That's uh, very specific... That's very specific requirements. And honestly, I'm not sure if any of my games uh, match that. Could play more RE4, I guess. I guess. I I, I don't know. I, like... The, the, uh, the problem is I really don't feel that game uh, lately. Not Again, not because it's bad. It's just sim It's a, just the same thing as with Dead Space. I think I just played it too much. I just played it too much at, like, at once. And, you know, now I'm like... I don't want to burn myself out from it. It's like why I have... It's the same reason why I haven't touched the Dead Space remake since March. You know, I still have, like, two uh, achievements remaining, like the, the one gun achievement and then just the hardcore one. But I haven't touched it since March, because, you know, I don't want to fuck myself over and, like, you know, ruin it for me. Then you do a separate playthrough as well. Yep. I was playing it on my own as well, uh, Resi 4. So I kind of just, I, I, I kind of just played it too much at once, honestly. I wasn't, I wasn't really feeling it. I don't know, like, I, I don't really like forcing myself to play games for streams. Because, like, at that point, you know, if I'm not enjoying it, then I'm not confident in myself to make it enjoyable. Play the original R4 beforehand. True. I mean, all of the games that I played recently aren't that bad candidates. Like, I've played Subnautica, I've played Cold of the Lamb, I've played uh, Project Zomboid, I've played Dark Souls. I don't know. It's like, with all of those games, I feel like. Well, then again, I, f I felt the same about Oblivion, you know, about not being able to make it in uh, entertaining because there's not always something happening. Eh. Stop playing the original directly before playing remasters, lol. <laughs> Honestly, I doubt that was too much of a factor. Because, like, I didn't play through all of uh, RE4, like the original, before the remake came out. I, I I think it was legit just me streaming it and me also playing it on my own. It, I think it legit just burned me out on it. Well, not burned out, but brought me close to that. Streaming for 30 minutes with nothing like with a stupid fucking gear thing. True. Uh, hold on. No, not you. Um, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Manage making a game entertaining. You think? I mean, thank you for being so uh, confident in me. <laughs> I guess I could just go back to Oblivion, right? What the fuck was I even doing in Oblivion? I don't know anymore. Oh yeah, I just brought uh, Shitface, Martin, to his, like, uh... To, to that, like, monastery, right? So yeah, I, I should be able to go back to, like, the open world. Ah, fuck it, let's do some Oblivion then. Why not? Oh god, where is Elder Scrolls? Okay, small little fucking tangent. Small... Oh, Jesus Christ. No, Steam. No, no, no. That's not where I clicked. Steam! There you go. Small little tangent, okay? Uh, go away. <laughs> Hold on a second. I need, I, need to pick a, I need to make a point. Right here. The Elder Scrolls uh, 4 Oblivion. It starts with a T, but because it's... Because everybody just says Elder Scrolls, it's in the E section. And it's not the only one that does it. There's a, there's a few games that do this where... Same here with The Evil Within, right? Like, it starts... Technically speaking, it starts with a T, but because the because everybody just says Evil Within, it's in the E section. 
I am incredibly petty, and this pisses me off. <laughs> oh man. Oh hey, lactating monk. Nice to see you again. Turbo. Oh, I see. Yeah, I keep forgetting that Twitch is like all that stuff. Um, hold on. Bad DS. But it's actually Oblivion. Hold on. Uh. Oh God, no. Yeah, I need to I mean to type in the full fucking title. Retro gaming. Because why not? I miss your HL playthroughs. Oh! <laughs> oh god, my Half-Life playthroughs. Honestly, I appreciate... I, I really, really appreciate that you missed them. Um, the problem is... Uh, to give you some context, hold on. I just I just need to pull up my... Uh, my YouTube channel where I used to stream. The problem is... Um, I played through... Half-Life quite a few times now on stream. Uh, hold on a second. I just need to scroll down. God, it was ages ago. Yeah, 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 right here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, so th this, this was back when I was streaming on YouTube. Uh, I played through, I think, pretty much every fuck Yeah, Half-Life 1, Opposing Force, Blue Shift, 2, uh, Episode 1, Episode 2, uh, then later even Half-Life Alex. Yeah. That was on my main channel, and I think if we go over to my stream archive, um, <laughs> how many times did I stream through Half-Life there? Okay, so here's that time where I played Half-Life with RTX on, of course. <laughs> I swear I've played Half-Life Source. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh yeah, I played the po Opposing Force again, I played Blue Shift. I, I played... <laughs> oh god. You know, occasionally John and Arson like to exaggerate it, but um, the truth is, I must have played through Half Life and differing Half Life games probably five times by now. <laughs> yeah, you should play HL1 again. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh man. I, I appreciate that you like the commentary, uh, Monk. I really do. Um, but I don't. I don't want to overdo it. Uh, I, I'd love to play Half Life again, like genuinely. But you know, I, I don't. I don't want to overstay my welcome. <laughs> oh God! All right. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Funny, funny Todd Howard game though. I know, but it's nice to have someone else who played HL. Oh God! Hold on. Ah! Fuck! Loud! Loud! There we go. Sorry about that. I know, but it's nice to have someone else who played HL, likes it, and actually knows stuff about the lore and Valve in general. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess. I, I am one of those. Uh, uh, <laughs> true, true. Um, I mean, again, I, I'm definitely going to play uh, Half-Life again at some point on stream. I don't know, maybe annually or something. Uh, right now, I just, you know, I, I don't want to force it. It's really annoying school just ended for me and now I'm in a weird period of time where I don't have to do uh, anything but I feel like I've got to do something. Just saying, you've only played HL2 once. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold your horses there, Jose. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> hold on. I played through HL2 on a stream on my original channel, as we've seen before, and I'm pretty sure I played it on Twitch at least once. At the very least uh, once, right? Hold on. Okay, wait, that's MGR. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I need to prove a point. Okay, I started out with the MGR. No, that was me looking for references for my, uh, for my diorama. Mace Combat, Project Wingman, Bioshock. What was this again? Oh, no, this was me playing Black, uh, Black Mesa. Jesus. Yeah, this was also HL2, but I think this was when, uh, when I just got my new PC, right? Yeah, God, last year. Oh, God, it's almost been a year. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, no. Don't tell... John, I think you might be right. I guess I haven't played through HL2 on Twitch yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Alright, boyos. Uh, sh should, should I just boot up HL2? Oh, good god. Have I really not played through HL2 on, on Twitch? That is... <laughs> Jesus Christ. At one point you got drunk and were complaining about Source while standing in HL2 canals. Oh my god, you're right! The drunk stream! Jesus Christ! Black Mesa is fun. I almost don't want to uh, get Black Mesa. I thought they've taken way too many liberties with the level design story in general. Uh, oh, you mean in like... And how it how it's different from the original? It's definitely different from the original. I would recommend looking at Black Mesa the same way you'd look at something like the um, the Resident Evil Two or Resident Evil Four remake or like uh, the Dead Space uh, remake. Like the core of what made HL One HL One is still there, but you know they rearranged uh, level design, they rearranged some like balancing st uh, stuff to kind of uh, first of all modernize it, second of all kind of make it its own thing. It, I'm not. I don't think Black Mesa will ever replace HL1. I don't think that's really the 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 idea behind it. But like, if you like Half Life, I'm pretty sure you like Black Mesa. Like, it is its its own entity, and I think that's the best way to look at it. But it is a lot of fucking fun. They made some weird changes, but it's not bad enough to not be worth playing. I wouldn't call them weird, but I think I think some of them were like sensible changes. Okay, fuck it. I'm booting up HL2. You you convince me. Okay. You thought it was Oblivion. Actually, Half-Life. Again. Honestly, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna change the notification. The live notification of help is. It, it is perfectly descriptive. It, it, it describes my entire life right now. <laughs> All right, boyos. Call it for round three of HL2. Let's go. <laughs> HL2 VR, by the way. Oh god, but I had to. I'd have to set my VR headset up. And the problem is, I don't have a. I don't have a, a fucking functioning lapel mic anymore. And as you might remember, John, from when I streamed Half Life Alex, my headset mic is trash. It is other trash. You're crazy and different. The Half-Life Anthology is the definition of video gaming success for me. First game I ever played in PC and will always have a place in my heart. Oh, yeah, no, it is it is genuinely a fucking legendary. Uh, are, my, are my settings still good? I fucking hope so. Yeah, they are. Wait, do I still have Dev Console? Ah, probably gonna have to check that game. Okay, uh, what do you say, guys? Should I go for the full intro? Because I, I'm gonna be, be completely honest here, even though I love the atmosphere of point insertion and, and the red letter day, whenever whenever I start playing HL2 on my own, I start right here. Intro. Play the intro. <laughs> Play the intro. <laughs> When's the last time you played the intro? Good God. Good question, actually. You always skip it. Yeah, because I've fucking seen it so many times. I just go over to Root Canal. Okay, fine. Fine. We'll do point insertion. Uh, though, let me check if the sound is fine. Okay. Just in case, be ready that G-Man might uh, blow your eardrums out. Just, you know, cover your ears. God, I'm starting in point insertion. God fucking damn it. <laughs> it is a pretty progress intro, though. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Oh god, he's loud. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply <laughs> you have been sleeping on... Incredibly loud job. train sound! No one is more uh. deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Special animation, yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. It is still an interesting question, though. What the fuck G-Man gains from this? Also, 
let me turn down the game further. Oh no, the the train is gonna be out of sync. God damn it! But yeah, it's I I, I had a discussion uh, with a friend of mine who I sometimes talk about writing and uh, stuff, like what the G-men could possibly have wanted to achieve with place like having having placed Gordon here is obviously incredibly fucking you know deliberate. Hi. I didn't see you get on. And you know need to get that mandatory. I didn't see you get on in. No matter how many times I've been relocated, I'm used to it. But yeah, it does make one wonder what exactly G-Man stands to gain from it, because, you know, he, he inserts Gordon in such a way in City 17 that A, the Combine get alerted to him, but B, the Resistance snatches him up before the Combine can take him out, and C, leads to him, you know, leading the Combine in a giant goose chase across, you know, City 17 and the, uh, its surrounding area, and ends with him blowing up the Citadel. Like I always, I always wondered what exactly does G-Man? Because we all know G-Man's a fucking he's he's an opportunistic, pragmatic asshole. Like he does not give a fuck about the resistance. Honestly, one theory I had was that maybe it was uh, more so intended to, as like just a tipping of the scales. Because if the boards didn't intervene at the end, uh, at the beginning of a episode one, then who knows what G-Man would have done? He would probably would have snatched Gordon away somewhere else. But you know, with the boards, he actually had a chance to. You know, continue on his work here in City 17. Put this stuff, it, Blows up the Citadel. <laughs> puts the Combine uh, oh, network out of geez. whack. Welcome. Welcome. I mean, without City Gordon 17. around, the Combine might have managed have to make another portal, although g might have done something about that. Like, thinking about everything, his, his plan must have been to cripple the Combine here on Earth in some way or another. It's just one of the species that is employed by the Combine. Ah, theories! Cyberpunk is the only game that's gotten close to matching its face deck. We, we don't know who G-Man is employed by. We don't even know if G-Man is honestly employed by anybody. His employers could just as well be so much of uh, uh, like a pseudonym for something, or, you know, even just something he's lying about. Here. Then again, has G-Man ever lied about something? Also, I want to see the Vortigon. I've been proud to call City 17 my Board home. friend. And so, whether you Christ. are here to stay... Is, I, is that the aliasing on? I don't know, it doesn't feel like it's on. I can see aliasing all over the place. Eight times, yeah. I, I ain't buying it. I can see the jaggies everywhere. My eyes. Welcome to City any, 17. Uh, ulterior motives. It's I think he's just meant to be all spooky. Uh, yeah, of course, from like a, from like a, you know, you the only ones on that train? from like an immediate uh, player experience kind of part. Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and you took know, my husband mandatory. for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did they're, they're being nice though. People around uh, and all the time. Why does he need Gordon at all? Honestly, from what we've seen with G-Man, okay, th this was actually part of the discussion I had with my friend. Because there's one, like, I genuinely think that opposing force for, like, 99% 99, 99 of it can be seen as uh, canonical. But there's one part of uh, opposing force that I do not agree with. And that is seeing the G-Man arm the bomb again. Because if you, if you think about it, everything that the G-Man does, he does through other people. You know, opening the portal to Zen, he does through the Black Mesa scientists. Clo stopping the whole resonance cascade, he does through Gordon. You know, blowing up the Citadel and helping the Resistance, he does through Gordon. Uh, like, you know, telling Eli to prepare for unforeseen consequences, he does through Alex. You know, even even saving Eli and altering the timeline, technically speaking, he uh, he does that through Alex. She's the one who zaps the uh, the advisor and alters the timeline. Like, it, every, every time the G-Man wants something done, he needs an actor for it. Except for that one time in Opposing Force, which is why I have a problem with it. So... I, I feel like there's maybe some weird rule or clause in place where it's like the G-Man can place actors and agents Welcome. in the field Welcome to like, to you know, achieve his motives, but he himself is not allowed to like, act directly. Yeah, limit of his powers is that he may not be able to directly influence events, just places the right people in the right places. Yeah, I mean, even in even in HL Alex, he says he can nudge certain things. Oh yeah, mandatory. 
Don't drink the water. They put, put something, something in it to make, to make you forget. forget. I don't even, I don't even know how I got, got here. No, he says I don't even remember how I got here. Damn. Yeah, this dude. This no mouse fine. Hold on. No, I should be set to raw mouse, right? Kind of feels floaty. Just <laughs> to show I haven't. Oh, raw event. There we go. Okay, yeah, feels less floaty now. There we. Ah. Oh, still feels a bit weird. I don't know. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much more. But yeah, it it really. I mean, They're again. Again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. Welcome. Again, with G-Man putting Gordon City here, that's that's that that's why you know I agree that you know from like a. From like a surface point of view, of just like, hey, we want a player to have like some sort of motive or something, or an experience. Like, uh, how understated this whole intro is. It is. Hey, can I go through? Bruh. Also, even, even here, even here, Breen is uh, still, you know, standing uh, above you. Above us! Also, you know, the funny implication how close Gordon was to being shipped off to Nova Prospect. Again, right place at the wrong time. Or right man at the wrong place, whatever, you know. The wrong man in the right place, yeah. But also at the exact right time. Just, just like, like anybody else. else. Oh god, I know all of these fucking lines by heart at this point. Let's separate with the camera on him. I hope Barney manages to talk himself out of having lost the whole guy. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I mean the the reason why Gordon was stopped in the first place was because you know he's not he's uh, he's not in the data bank. Goes into the room and just disappears. Like the reason why Gordon was an anomaly is because he's not he's not in the system. Like that you you later hear it in the apartment complex uh, when the when the Metro cops raid the place. You hear the Overwatch voice say there's a miscount, like there's somebody un uh, unaccounted for. So I guess technically speaking, Gordon is off the grid. That's why he you know that's why that's why there was a fuss in the, uh, in the first place. So I guess that's how Barney managed to be like yeah no that guy never went through here like see you know zero records he doesn't exist. So I'll go ahead and go in though. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. And hey, potentially there's some discretion for Metro Cops. For the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, hmm. what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. So yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that that the one, the one cop calling out in the background. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Ah, uh, that facial technology. How old is Barney at this point, though? Like that's that's something I've uh, I was always wondering about. Okay, you know what? Let's talk about that. Actually, I I, I never put too much thought uh, too much thought into that. How fucking old is Barney at this point? He was he was an established security guard in Black Mesa, so he must have been somewhere in his twenties. And like to be an armed security guard, you must have some kind of like police or military uh, training beforehand. I at least I assume. Like twenty years have passed, so. Technically speaking, Barney should be somewhere in his 40s. I guess if it's in his early 40s, if he, if he was like maybe 22, 23, when the Resonance Cascade happened. So he'd be like in, in his early 40s and he just kept himself very well. Like, he's, he looks like somebody in his 30s. Else, well, uh, also collapsing the cameras to distract people. Is he an original Half-Life? I don't know. It's infinite Barney, so they kept bringing them. <laughs> yeah. Armed uh, security license for current state uh, 20 plus 1. Uh, bleh, 20 plus, yeah, 21 plus. Jesus, that's right, I can't talk today. Now I guess all things considered, Barney would have to be in his in his 40s. 
Unless, you know, he had another encounter with the G-Man. But then again, the ending of Blue Shift says he's out of he's out of range and, you know, of no interest. Like Barney was an incidental element, though apparently one that uh, the G-Man still happily accounted for considering he plopped. Actually, no, wait a second. No. The G-Man must be aware of Barney. He must be aware of Barney because that's what that's why he put Gordon right here at this uh, at this time because he knew, you know, Barney could snatch uh, Gordon up. Oh, it could also just be coincidence. I mean, the resistance would have wanted to uh, put somebody undercover in the, you know, in, uh, in the Metro Police either way. It's like I guess it could just I, I don't know actually. The, the 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 stuff surrounding Barney is weird anyway because he doesn't appear anywhere in Episode Two. That's I always found that strange. There's something weird going on. He could still not look all that old at 40. Late 20s, early 30s in Inchal yeah. 1. Oh. Yeah. As long as he stays away from I mean, points, yeah, maybe he kept himself okay. well. He does have some Listen, gray hairs, I, go, I think. Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon, good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. I mean, he doesn't have too many, like, uh, too many wrinkles, but again, maybe he, maybe he just kept himself very well. You know, kept in good shape. You know, ate, ate his veggies. Keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Which would be ironic because actually, and I know this is technically speaking, uh, not really this game's fault that that would require way more like detailed modeling. But you know, technically speaking, all the citizens uh, should look like way more sickly and way more gaunt than they do, because like there's multiple references to what the fuck is that? Oh, probably just a piece of debris. Uh, because, you know, there's multiple references to, like, misdemeanors leading to, like, rations being, uh, cut short. And from what we can see of the Combine, you can bet your ass the Combine, like, cut the rations to such a degree that you are just barely above starving. Like, yeah, it'll keep you going and it'll keep you working, but it, w it won't keep you, like, fed well or anything. So, you know, technically speaking, every everybody in, uh, H HL2 should look, like, really sickly and really, like, uh... Like, uh, thin. Well, to be fair, everybody is fairly thin, so at least that's consistent. So he's kind of hungry, but also they don't want to give them too much reason to reward. Through it, suppression field probably affected the adults in more way than um, one's fertilities. Potentially? I mean, again, we never see what those rations have in them, but again, considering the combine, my assumption is just that these rations are like the absolutely bare minimum. Like, just enough calories and vitamins to keep you going for the day. And you know, if you, if you if you misbehave, then hey, guess what? That's another day of starving. This is such a nice shot, though. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, I, I could I could genuinely look at this for minutes. It is such a nice shot. Uh, nice shot. The Citadel, the fucking obelisk on which uh, Breen is placed. Man, second glance at the citizens give are so good. I know. It's like who the fuck is this guy? I mean, I assume. Like, f fan art always depicts Gordon before he gets his HEV suit and being in uh, in civvies and like the civilian clothings. And I mean, Barney also says let's get him out of his civvies. So I assume he's in like the the typical worker clothes that all the citizens wear. Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Which you know that, that that's that's another like subtle thing I really fucking love about Half Life and why Valve was such a fucking great company or is maybe still if they still make games who knows it's like you don't really think about it but the fact that everybody wears the fucking same you know it's also just another piece of like cutting out individuality like no all of you will wear the same fucking prisoner's jacket all of you will wear the same pants and like to help you that's out of the question and yeah the fucking citizen lines of if we talk out here man if they see us talking out here we're, we're in big fucking trouble you in town aren't you and today we clearly see it's okay, yeah, they can definitely. Okay, that makes sense though. They could definitely tell that Gordon's new here. And Rick has funds. Got a pair of Rick. Uh, Rick 800H uh, Pro. Uh, I don't know. My headphones are from Steel Series. They're the. Oh god, I don't even know anymore which uh, ones are. I think they're the ones that a lot of YouTubers uh, wear, or a lot of streamers or whatever. Steel Series something something. They're pretty good. 
And I mean, that's that survived sitting on my big ass fucking head so far. Did they? I mean, we don't really see that much of the citizens of the citizens in Half Life Alex. I think they still wear the the the, the blue like the blue prisoner clothes in HL Alex. They wear normal clothes instead of uniforms. Dude, fuck! I, I I need to replay the start of uh, HL Alex again. Oh yeah, whoever whoever wrote like brain speeches, I kneel, I kneel. These speeches are so fucking good. It is brain speeches are genuinely such a fantastic showcase of like condescending intellectualism with still enough charisma behind it that it doesn't piss you off too much. Breed speech is a fucking genius, man. Crammed together in shitty apartments. Close the console low. Ah, why not? Yeah, speech just set the atmosphere so well. Yeah, and, and they fit his character and the whole environment perfectly. Like, you, 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 you could imagine that's exactly what a fucking blowhard like uh, Breen would be talking about in this kind of situation. But, again, his his voice actor and his speeches still have enough charisma in them that you're like, you don't, you don't hate him, you, 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 like, you don't find him annoying. If you start listening to it, you see how fucked up it, uh, it is what he's talking about, but, you know, you don't immediately hate him. This is how it always starts. First the, the folding, oh. then the whole block. <laughs> they have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. That's funny, I occasionally get frame drops. HL2, what you doing? Actually, what? Uh, oh my god, what was the command again? Oh, I completely forgot. What the fuck was the... Oh god, what was the... Ra what was the fucking... No. <laughs> was it G? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I can just do this uh, usual shit. Woohoo! Infinite ragdolls! Woohoo! There we go. Yeah, I usually like doing that. I mean, again, uh, my systems at this point can handle it without a problem. Except for the one part in episode 2 with the, uh, with the antlion caves. There, uh, there, yeah, you ha you need uh, Ragdolls of Fate, because that will crash Source. But everywhere else, I'm like, eh, you know what, I can, per I can have permanent corpses. Why the fuck not? It makes the section in Ravenholm in the graveyard very fucking funny, because it, it, then it, it, you really start seeing just how many fucking headcrab zombies uh, appear there. Put Gordon in, like, frozen stasis uh, until I gel 2, right? Yeah, kind of like um, some sort of stasis. Like, the thing he says to Adrian, Adrian Shepard, uh, before he, like, leaves is, you know, he put him somewhere where no harm can come to him and he can bring no harm to anything else. Like, he's he's in some part of the universe of some kind of dimension or something where nothing bad can happen to him, but he also can't, like, cause any trouble or spill the beans. So I heavily suspect it was probably the the same thing with Gordon. I mean, G-Man even says that at the beginning, at the beginning that, you know, the, you know, that no one has earned more of a rest than Gordon. So I assume it was probably some kind of, like, co uh, comatose or dreamlike or sleep-like state. It's a really well-made game. <laughs> it is very atmos uh, atmospheric. Plus, you know, even though I am a, I'm a big advocate for, you know, dynamic lighting, ba ba baked in lighting, it really does uh, look good, though. Was that you knocking? I didn't even know we still had a door. God, I, I forgot how amazing his face in, uh, facial animation is. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. Wait, are the citizens actually blinking again? Told you they'd become oh, okay, they're blinking. Next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. As a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has... Yeah, I think somewhere around here the Overwatch voice will, sell, uh, will say there's a miscount. Take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? 
Attention, resident. There it is. Miscount detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Permit full ration reward. See, that's what I mean. Miscount detected. That's that's why I said earlier with that's I think that's why Gordon immediately sets off all the alarms because he's off the grid. He's an anomaly. Like all the cameras and drones are like taking pictures of him and like, whoa, what the fuck? I don't recognize this face. Who the fuck is this guy? And right right here with the miscount, like they they saw okay, somebody else uh, somebody else went into this building, into this apartment building who's not supposed to be there. They weren't accounted for. And that immediately sets off the alarms. I, I do f I do find it funny for how often uh, Breen and the Overwatch voice says that cooperation and collaboration will be rewarded. You never see a citizen betray you. I mean, of course, the Metro Cops are humans who are like, yeah, combine, let's go. Get in here, quick. Keep moving. Head for the roof. And of course, there's uh, there's Mossman. Well, then again, she's a double agent, so what? So whatever. Then again, I always assumed that after 20 years of Combine occupation, like, anybody who would on honestly collaborate with the Combine is already, like, part of Overwatch or the, you know, Metro Cop Force. Like, I I'm pretty sure any other citizen is like, yeah, the Combine can go to hell. Like, it's funny, even, like, Breen, in one of his speeches, I think, in uh, Canals, even says, like, hey, you know, maybe... No, 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 it was after... It was after Black Mesa East. Yeah, no, oh my god, it's a Nova Pros- Okay, sorry, I, I just got it. It's a Nova Prospect. Uh, in one of his uh, speeches, Breen says that, you know, the fact that just as Gordon arrived at Black Mesa East and was raided might, you know, this might make some of the uh, resistance members untrust, uh, untrusting of him. Never happens. Not even one person in the resistance ever, like, doubts Gordon in any kind of capacity. Which, you know, might just be something that got cut out and they actually had plans for, like, citizens not trusting you or anything. But I also kind of like the implication that, you know, after 20 years of occupation, any anybody who ever, like, think about collaborating with the Combine already has. Yeah, that one take him down line. Over here. Ha, no, you don't. Foot chase and rooftops just uh, have calm atmospheric music. Yeah. Dr. Freeman, I presume. <sighs> Still looks amazing to this day. God damn it. I better hurry. The combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. No shit. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Dr. Freeman, I presume. God, what, an, what a fucking Alex intro Vance. to Alex. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. I don't know if that uh, person of interest detected. Yeah, exactly. Like, they, they don't have Gordon in the records because, you know, he's been gone for 20 years. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. I do understand that the section in the Red Letter Day and all the interactions with the NPCs were longer at one point, but obviously Valve cut it down because they didn't want you just standing there for half an hour listening to NPCs talk. But yeah, technically speaking, we would have to say that the reaction to Gordon appearing after 20 years would probably have to be quite stronger. I mean, Half-Life Alex established that nobody really thought he was dead most people just thought he disappeared you know like the guy who survived black mace and stopped the resonance cascade no fucking way he's dead right he's he's probably somewhere out there kicking alien ass but tech honestly speaking i'm pretty sure a lot of people must have had like the 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 stomach feeling of like you know this legendary figure that we hear so much about from black mesa personnel that guy must be dead either dead or he never existed and suddenly he's here you know like, technically speaking, Kleiner should have been like, Holy fucking shit, Gordon! After 20 fucking years, you're, you're here again? I thought you were fucking dead, bro! How the fuck did you survive everything? How the fuck did you survive Zen? What happened? You know, he'd, he'd have like a million questions for him. I like how they have all the security and then the lab oh, has windows. Yeah, I know. Day in particular. 
Honestly, honestly, one of these days, I should install that mod that makes it so where Alex tries to hop over this, the railing breaks, and she just, she just ragdolls. One of these days, I should install that, stop playing HL2 on stream, be like, you know, everything's normal, and that just happens, and I don't say a thing. <laughs> one of these days, I should do that. And then, you know, the game over message appears. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab. Through the old canals. Parkour. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. I mean, even here, the, the facial animations are a bit more simplified. She's yeah. mainly moving her Everybody eyebrows and stuff. But even still, it's, it's, oh, it's so good. God damn it. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Oh yeah, that area back then, that Lamar, outside, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> forgot Hello, to look at it. Right, yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're talking about, I the didn't think to look right. at it. My goodness, Gordon Freeman, it really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside, bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. Yeah, despite the fact that the that Source One has a gigantic fucking preference for rectangular boxes, I mean, box, box, box. This whole fucking room is a box. The vents are boxes. You know, box. Like every everything that's not like a, a prop or some sort of mesh is just a box. I must say, the, the, in spite of that, they managed to make like environments that genuinely look interesting. Fucking how? For our resurrected teleport. <laughs> Have I changed my FOV? Should still be the same as uh, what was it? Yeah, it's, it's still a hundred. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doc. Did the game change it? Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are, man, Gordon. You stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry, he's coming. You mean back here? Uh, that's right, Bonnie. He just metal cube this under the radio behind you. Or you mean just this thing? Teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's Clients had look weird. For real this time? Because I guess maybe if he's like at the edge of the screen, because you know no, no, FOV is sort of cheating with like stretching and shit. We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What also, holy shit, am I losing frames? Wow, streets, what is happening? Out of his what? Oh dear, you're right. Yeah, I'll look at that. Why am I losing frames like that? I'll Jesus! The, honor. <laughs> the cabinet. You mean this shit. thing? Yeah, I, I I don't get what it is. This thing's weird. I'm pretty sure it's not actually a mesh. I think it's just like part of the map. Here we go. Ah, Emma, get it off me! Yeah, it's level Geo. <laughs> That's what I thought. There you are. I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's deep. Oh, Lamar still does that little thing where she changes animation. Attempt to couple with your head, fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me. Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fie! It'll be another week before I can. Hey, John. You can probably answer this, but are the characters in HL2 hand animated? Cooks are out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney, you're not an animal person. <sighs> like they, they have that sort of hand animated feeling to them, don't they? I never actually thought about that. Are they hand animated? Your suit now. You know, I could do the funny where I wait here for uh, a, a quite a while and wait, you know, wait out all the lines of them saying like, "Hey, Gordon, put on your suit. Don't worry, Gordon. Uh, we won't watch." In fact, I recorded mocap, but all the animation uh, look hand keyed. Yeah, like that that thing where like Kleiner uh, like petted his his own head, like you know, said, "Here, uh, here, my pet, hop up." Like that looked, you know, very like hand animated. That had like a not cartoonish, but sort of like a I don't know what the right word for that is. Use the mocap for gestures. I don't know. If Doctor Kleiner says you should wear that thing, you should wear it. That holy shit, Alex! That is fucking ominous. What the hell? 
<laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? You did you? That was fucking ominous. Jesus. Come on, Gordon. We don't have time to fool around. Get your suit on. All right, all right. Well, Gordon, I. I actually thought for a second I, uh, I broke the scripting. Like, the, the, the game's already acting weird. I I genuinely thought for a second I broke the scripting. I was, I was fucking, I was, I was holding my breath there. I was genuinely holding my breath there. I thought I broke, I somehow broke the scripting. Holy fuck. We won't watch as Alex watches you, yeah. See your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. <laughs> I was I was this fucking doing. close to having a I panic attack. Oh my god. I'll just equate you with the essentials. <laughs> Now Good God! See. Oh yeah, uh, there we Mark go. Hey, you guys see that? Environment suit has been redesigned Wait, huh? Comfort and utility. Oh dear, Doc, we don't have time for this. Oh yeah, the, uh, the metro move. Suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. Some texture on the printer is fucked. Oh, good God! What happened? I've modified your suit to draw power from combined energy outlets, which are. Oh no! What happened? That is fucking trippy. Okay, there's something there's something weird going on with this game right now. Used to be fucked, they broke it and updated at some point. What did you do? I didn't do anything! <laughs> I didn't do nothing! The game is acting weird on its own! Like the the, the, the weird frame drips, this stuff. I, I I don't know what's up with the game. <laughs> don't 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 fucking point at me for that. I didn't do shit. All I did was make it so that Ragdoll stay, but that shouldn't fucking affect anything. You know, I didn't I didn't do R slash break the fucking game. You know? Didn't do that. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my word? Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess yeah, the funny pipes. Way into our lab this Ah, oh God, if they're doing so many pipes and cables on my project, man. Indeed, I can never look at them the same way again in, in the 3D models. Straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. Do I have no clue why these look so fucked up. I don't know what the 3D modeler did. Conditions could hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Initializing in three, two, one. No fiddlesticks. What now? Chat reconnected. Uh, oh. Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? You know, I usually just, you know, immediately plug them in. But I have to say there is something very humorous about, um, you know, this all, all of this... Uh, Build up with you know, Clanner saying yeah, LG overfold. The, the music's building up. You can hear the machines wearing, and then just bzzz, silence, no music whatsoever. Like I, I have to say that there is definitely an inherent funniness to all of that. Like usually I just skip past it, but just how awkwardly okay. silent it is all of a sudden. My internet sucks. Oh, my son's downloading a shit ton of porn. Jesus Christ, dude! You have a kid? Oh my God! Oh god. I that's Go right ahead. There's like five different sound effects that go into the teleporter wind up and the thunder afterwards. Oh yeah the thunder, the fucking echo on that. Final sequence. Honestly I don't know if one of if somebody who views me having a kid would make me feel old or young or both. Either way I feel incredibly old. <laughs> Yeah, I usually already see, position see, myself there and get ready for it. Hey, yeah, exactly. Just like. Thank goodness, my relief is almost palpable. Yeah, I have a thirty-year-old son. Holy guacamole, my dude! Okay, Jesus. <laughs> well, uh, happy parentage. Holy fuck! Right, you are. Man, thirty-year-old son. That's crazy. Gordon, throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney, your turn. Gee, thanks. 
Gordon, as I told you to in that field. Holy, holy fuck, my dude. Well, I mean, I'm. I mean, my poor ass is 26, still a fucking student, and still unemployed, so, well, 25, technically speaking, I'll be 26 in June. Oh, God. Oh, God. God, help me, why am I so old? I can't wait to set the scene in P17. I don't know how much it's gonna suck to animate. True. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. You know, it does make you wonder just how unstable that entire construction was. That Lamar knocking down that hatch just immediately breaks everything. Like, Lamar barely touched anything. Like, shh, drop down there, that, like, how fragile is this thing? <laughs> I want my MIT degree. <laughs> oh god, I just, I just noticed how fucking compressed and low res the teleporter effect is. God, you can count the pixels on that fucking teleporter.gif. Good God, I never noticed that. I mean, obvi obviously, fucking game from 2004, but still. Alright, let's go. It's fucking game time. But yeah, right there, um, Barney waving to you. That, that, almost, uh, that always felt like so fucking puppet like to me. Hey, Gordon! See what I mean? The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees and also, they'll help you if they can. Also, say hi to the I Citadel's configuration for the rest of the Dr. game. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in I mean, Black Mesa. And made a texture from 2004. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. True. Was the desert scene of any significance? Yeah, probably like John said, um, beta wasteland, because if I remember correctly in the Half-Life beta, the world, probably even some finished levels of like just the the ocean bed that was like completely fucking dried out, that was basically at that point like a Mad Max-esque uh, fucking just desert. I say Mad Max-esque because in, the Ma in Mad Max the lore is, you know, this, the, the ocean's fucking evaporated. At least in Fury Road. So, you know, just... You're basically moving across the ocean floor and it's all fucking dry and desert. So it might have been a, a reference to that. Or like a leftover. Oh, that's just all of America. That would be fucking scary though, right? Like, imagine, yeah. All that, all that, all that America is in... At this point, it's just, you know, a barren fucking wasteland. I mean, Valve went out of their way to point out in the on that globe in Alex's room in Half-Life Alex. There's like a giant red cross on um on the U.S. So, uh, God, why am I dropping frames like that? Stop that! See, so yeah, obviously something very very fucking wrong happened in the U.S. Which you know, considering the source of the residence cascade was in New Mexico. Yeah. Better PC. Yeah, <laughs> of course, yes. I guess my fucking 3090 Ti isn't enough to play this 2004 game. Shame on me. Also, let's just enjoy the music for a bit. Got a lot of apprehension. Alright, let's go. Honestly, I'm very glad that I reused Apprehension for your assault on Nova Prospect. Fucking worth it. What an amazing song. Help me! Stop! We didn't do anything! They'll be looking for you now. You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. 
<laughs> Admittedly, in this one section, it might have interfered with like the 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 sound snippet you hear that da na na, uh, when you see the metro cops speeding them up. But yeah, in, in every in every other part, it's a fucking shame the music doesn't carry over. Especially fucking you shouldn't be here. Oh god, pistol is loud. I think the game's still too loud. Good god. I just blew out my eardrums. The stinger, yeah, exactly. MP3 for music, the sound system doesn't work very well with MP3. Yeah, probably something like that. I mean, they they managed to fix it for Half-Life 2 update. I, I, I distinctly remember that being one of the cooler features of that uh, of that thing is that, you know, the music carries over through loading screens. They'll be looking for you now. No shit, I just blew through the other two cops with a crowbar. So they weren't already looking for me. Honestly, I do wonder what, what because she, like, she's fucked. There's Metro Cops coming up right behind me, so unless she manages to, like, drag herself and her dudes out of there, the two of them are fucking dead. Like, right there. See? Like, those two, they're gone. They're fucking gone. I, I, either she, like, managed to drag herself and her, like, boyfriend out of there, or, you know, they're just fucking dead. Am I playing on normal? I am. Ah, fuck it. I mean, even, even on hard, HL2 never really reaches a point where I'd say it's challenging. Are you okay? Are you guys okay with just keeping it on normal? I'm okay with keeping it on normal. Just pointed the finger towards where you went. Lamau. I mean, that, that is kind of a funny quirk and honestly a bit of a crutch that repeatedly gets used throughout uh, canals. And even to a degree a bit through water ha Actually, no. No, not through water hazard because at, uh, at that point you don't, you don't meet that many uh, rebels or citizens, but... Like think think about all the all the citizens you meet in uh, canals. Like pretty much all of them die as soon as you leave the room. Like the one guy who you know helps you with the man hacks, as soon as you as you round the corner, he fucking gets kill binded. Uh, the one chick who like says she needs to keep the rail well alive and stays in that pipe. I don't, actually wait does he does she die or does she just uh, despawn? I know she despawns at one point because he can. Look back there where she uh, where she'd be and she's gone. But yeah, that woman who like um, uh, gives you the airboat, I think she also gets like killed by a head crap, if I remember correctly. Like everybody you meet in the canals just just fucking gets game ended. Yeah, HL2 was never support. Yeah, HL2 is not uh, not at all uh, challenging. Like I think Racevic said it best in his uh, in his video. Like the only thing that ev that's even remotely like dangerous to you are the are the Overwatch shotgunners. Well, okay, aside from uh, aside from the hunters, but you know they're more like mini bosses anyway. Like with every other, I I remember reading somewhere that you know Gordon in HL2 is basically a fucking sprinting tank with like a whole weapons arsenal uh, strapped to him like Gordon in HL2 is incredibly fucking dangerous and incredibly fucking deadly can you go back down that corridor and check if she, and see if she's dead oh you mean oh I didn't even think of that well I can't go back now I'd have to no clip yeah, you are way too OP in HL2. Yep. Like, even with the fact that uh, Gordon now has limited sprint, he's, he's still just way too fucking deadly.
Then add to that the devastating effect of uh, explosives. I mean, again, they try to balance it out with like you only having like what three grenades for the SMG. But even then, one of those grenades is more than enough to wipe out an entire fucking squad. Like the balancing in HL2 is all over. Is it, it is completely borked. Gordon is way too fucking powerful. Alright, John's checking. What a physics. What a. Look at that. What a. With a cool reflect all uh, effect. Fucking based. Sorry, I was, I was, <laughs> so I was having some fun there. Okay, there we go. I, I, I guess if I took one of these uh, boxes, I could, you know, roleplay as fucking desync. Yeah, uh, today, you know, I'm gonna use this pallet to fucking break the sound barrier and teleport myself to another dimension. Honestly, the physics in HL2 just get weird around water. Like stuff, stuff just gets goofy when you and uh, like a physics prop is in water. She lives. What the fuck? Did they really not think to get out of the way of the train? It's not that it had any requirements to be CP. Which means she totally snitched on you. God damn! Good God. Ah, G-Man! Guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. I mean, again, they are somewhat emoting, but, uh, but you do definitely do see that the, the thing on his face that moves the most is like his mouth and occasionally his eyebrows. Protection catches you down here. Which, it's bad news for the whole railroad. Again, for 2004... For 2004 is more than most games did. Yeah, in action is conspiracy, uh, report counter uh, behavior to a civil protection officer immediately. I find it funny just how often the game references uh, collaboration and we never see it from the citizens. I think his eyebrows had to be done manually in face poses screens. Eh, possibly. I mean, you can definitely see where like uh, most of the face posing or like face animation budget went, which, you know, is completely understandable. Ooh, that crunchy ass fucking metal creaking sound effect. Wonderful. Hidden Vortigaunt that talks to you about how you slaughtered them in HL1. Uh, that's in, um, that's at the end of Canals, uh, after you fight the Hunter Chopper. Just before you reach Black Mesa East, uh, he's then like a hidden drainage pipe. The funny thing is, he's not the only Vort that has that dialogue. The Vortigaunt in the Rebel Outpost where you get the gun for the airboat, he also has that same dialogue. Um, I'm currently thinking if there's another Vortigaunt who you can interact with who has those, uh, those looped lines. Uh, I'm not sure if one of the Vorts in the Vortigaunt camp gives you those lines. But yeah, the one in the 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 wise Vortigaunt and the one who gives you the gun for your airboat, the, both of those like loops of lines with like we we see the free man in uh, still in the Highlands chamber, and we are coternimous and all that. He's singing his voice by Gabe Lamau. Dude managed to get away and got gunned down by the f by a fucking metro group waiting for him there. Wait, what the fuck? Did you hit. I, he I heard the fucking barnacle. That fucking metro cop there get snatched by the barnacle. I, he I heard the of the tongue. Hey, over here. Help. No, he's still there. The what the fuck did I hear? 
Ah. The afterwards pretty sure. Nope, he's, he's still there. Then what the fuck did I hear? We have the physics prop. True. I. This is station eight. Oh. We heard twelve go down and out. Okay, Your lines got cut and overlapped. Are targeting railway stations. Repeat. Civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting refugees from nine and outlying. Looks like we're station eight, you copy? Station eight, are you there? We have confirmed reports of man hacks. I do find it funny how these two metro cops here at the uh, at the gun emplacement, how little of a shit they give about the fact that, you know, they could, they saw Gordon go in there, they know there's a pipe there because they have metro cops uh, down there. Like, I, I find it funny how little of a shit they gave about the fact like, hey, this like, you know, this anti-citizen one that we're supposed to hunt down, you know, I think he's flanking us, should we do anything about that? Nah. Nah, that'd be too much work. The base area under the gun. Wait, move back. I need a screenshot of the, of the area. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You caught me kinda at a bad time. You know, mandatory turret section. Well, actually not mandatory, I could skip it. <laughs> Alright. You mean this area down here? Like what, you, you need this kind of angle? On the silly platforms, I know, I know. Like you know, you need this angle, you need this angle. WHOA! <laughs> okay, I'm awake. I'm awake now. I actually... <laughs> I actually flinched away from my monitor. <laughs> I actually backed away from my monitor. Okay, I'm awake now. Alright then. Nothing like almost getting a rocket to the face to fucking get the blood pumping. <laughs> Jeez Louise, alright. Where the hell did this guy go? Oh yeah, wait, I killed him. Still wouldn't have killed you. Yeah, no, no, with like a hundred health, a hundred armor, that 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 would not have killed me. Probably would have cut off a good chunk of my uh, armor and health, but I wouldn't be dead. So what's your endangerment? Endangerment level one. Duty sword midnight. It's I I I think I did this last time as well when I when I played, but it's very fucking interesting listening to the old watch voice and the commands it gives out. You are charged with socio endangerment level one. Wait, prosecution code, duty sword midnight, DSM. Uh, literally random, by the way. Oh, are they actually RNG? Oh, that's nice. Over here. Yeah, there she is. Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. They write them as barnacle there. Keep the railway alive. Social endangerment level 5, seize evasion immediately, receive your verdict. So random on the cops, I don't think there are, uh, are in the city voice. Okay, this time I actually want to check. Oh, I can't go back! No! No! I didn't know this. 
I didn't even... I'm gonna be petty. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn you. Fuck. I, I wanted to go back and check... Wait. There you go. Fuck now, what am I fucking crying about? Boo. Oh my god, she literally just despawns. Jesus. So... I guess we can argue she's not dead. I mean, technically speaking, she just despawned, so perhaps she just ran away to hide out somewhere? Probably ran away, I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, in in in, in the game proper, she probably just despawned, but yeah, I guess law-wise, you could argue she probably just ran away. Again, I, 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 find the, I find the quote from um, Freeman's mind here funny. Sweeping for suspect and they're dropping a bunch of bombs on him. Okay, didn't start running yet. The bullets through water effect is so badass. I know. Like it's 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 just some bubbles uh, trailing the bullet. Though funny enough, in in the water, it, it's it's an actual projectile. Like uh, when the metro cop was shooting me, you could actually see like a bullet flying towards me. Like they, they did go through uh, the extra mile there. It's it is fucking badass. I mean, it's a it's a simple effect, but it works so well. Like it's just some bubbles tra uh, trailing the projectile. And I would argue absolutely inspired by that one scene in Saving Private Ryan in the Normandy Beach, where you see also shots like going into this uh, into the water. Honestly, the the bullet effects in the water, I'd I'd actually be willing to bet that might have just been another case of like similarly to the shader in Half Life Alex for bottles with water in them. I'm willing to bet there was just like one developer going, you know what, I can make this look cool. And then just went ahead and, uh, and made it, and it's one of the coolest effects in the game. I'm willing to bet it's a similar story to the one with the uh, uh, with the bottles, with the like beer bottles and vodka bottles in Half Life Alex. Some guy being slightly bored, yeah, and he makes one of the coolest looking effects in the game. That's so goofy. Yeah, I know. I want to play H? So bad. Uh, honestly, Monk, the the best I can offer is uh, my stream when I streamed it. When was that? Uh, back my original channel. God, when the fuck was that that I streamed HL Alex on YouTube? Good God, that was two years ago. That was back in. <gasps> that was back in 2020. With my headset mic, right? The 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 shittiest fucking mic I have. Yes, YouTube. I know my videos aren't watched a lot, but that's probably like the biggest one. But I always imagine that like spire-like uh, structures like these would probably be, you know, uh, over, all over the place in like the in like the bigger cities. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, fucking average Half-Life fan trying to explain the lore. Good God. But yeah, that's the best I can offer. <laughs> the best I can offer is twenty dollars. Someone was just like, it would be cool if there was bubbles. I mentioned this, uh, but it's crazy how complex the Metro Cup dialogue is. Ew, I'm off to the movies with my son. Well, oh, sorry. Well, I'm off to the movies with my son. Sorry, for a second I thought you said ew. <laughs> sorry, my guy. Uh, no, okay. Th uh, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for sticking around. And uh, uh, I guess thanks for making me play HL2 again. No, no, no it's fine. Um, but yeah, have fun. Anti-civil activity uh, level one. You're still alive. Uh, when I uh, get back, I'll watch you. Oh, uh, I don't know how long I'll be live, but hey, we'll see. 
play through all of HL2 in one sitting? Let's go! God, I don't think I could do that. I feel like my brain would be melting. <laughs> <laughs> call signs just generated area codes to call out distances and heading. They're called a player different names based on different maps. Different maps are called different things. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Honestly, though, I suspect because, like, Kelly Bailey, you know... Honestly, I suspect because, like, Kelly Bailey, the, the sound guy, was so involved, I, I, I think that's why he had the freedom and the ability to just go ham with it. Like, is, isn't he also the voice actor for, like, the Overwatch soldiers? So, you know, if your main fucking sound engineer is doing the, the voice lines for your main enemies, then, you know, why not go uh, all out with it? If you had soft cheer ability, I'd tip you. Ah, don't worry about it. It's uh, it's all fine. But th I, I thank you for the sentiment. Ah, yes, the one that's based on the real face. God, it still looks so fucked up, bro. But yeah, uh, don't sweat it, bunk. It's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm happy I can just do this for fun. Ugh. Oh wait, we get some bullets. Ugh. Some lactation on the floor. <laughs> Amazing. I'm of the opinion if you took the HL2 dialogues as Miranda through AI text to speech with filtering on top, that would be kind of badass. Have the same insane complexity but a little more uh, naturally. I guess. I mean, yeah, to be fair, some of the lines can feel kind of weirdly cut off, but to be fair, I, I think that's also why they decided to give the. Uh, the, well, maybe that's maybe not that's why they decided to give the combine radio filters, but I think it definitely the the fact that Overwatch and Metro Cops both have like heavy uh, radio filters on their voices definitely helps with masking that. Because yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's like definitely there's points where you can tell there's like it's just like preset lines being dropped uh, next to each other. But yeah, the fact that the dialogue already sounds kind of mechanical... Oh jeez. Kind of nasty. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, 2004... It, 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 would, it would be right in that area where like a single developer can still kind of just go ham and add like a whole... A whole like function and system to a game. Ah, damn it. I swear, this usually never happens to me. Yay! And they speak very calmly. You better make this jump. I'm sorry to say, man. Uh, I, I, I failed you. Again. <laughs> you know, the second time is always a charm. Wait a second, John. Did I, did I make that jump when I was drunk? <laughs> I don't actually know anymore. <laughs> did, I, did I make that jump when I was drunk? I just can't really watch your uh, streams anymore after that. You know what? That's that's totally understandable. I I, I don't even hold it against you. No idea. <laughs> Honestly, if I managed to make that jump uh, jump the first time while being drunk and I failed it while being sober, fucking story for my life right there. <laughs> Genuinely, that's that, that sounds exactly like something that would happen to me. It is, it is. I mean, you can kind of see how it's telegraphed for this, like, whole, uh, chopper section. With, like, you know, conveniently placed, uh, pieces of cover and whatnot. I mean, again, uh, story and gameplay segregation, but I do find it funny just how ineffective um, the the gun on the combine chopper is. It's like yes, if if we cover as wide an area as possible, then surely we will hit our target eventually. <laughs> But 
which funnily enough kind of implies that you know the Apache that you fought in HL1 it actually had better aiming and was therefore deadlier than the fucking highly advanced uh, Alien Empire's uh, designated hunter chopper so you know the, the, the implication is almost like yeah humanity was just way better at making killing machines in the fucking combine Rebels, whatever. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like it, it, it being a junkyard, I'm I'm totally fine with that. It's it's more so just how ineffectual the 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 the, the copter is. It's just it's funny to me. Like I can actually buy uh, the trade-off being that you know it has unlimited ammo because it had, it has basically a pulse or energy rifle. So it needs to charge up for a bit. I can buy that. It's just, you know, in in that case, you'd want to make those shots count. Because, like, you check out modern footage of, like, a, a Cobra, an Apache, any, like, modern attack helicopter. Like, making a strafing run on a target. You bet your ass they fucking hit that target. And they hit it hard. Are really ever, uh, ever shown to be competent. Yeah, it's kind of it's kind of bizarre. Like, in, in, in some parts they're they're like almost hyper competent. Like you know you have these armored APCs that the fucking you know that civil protection has access to that are armored. They have a machine gun on top of it. They have fucking uh, homing rockets. You know you, you have the like um, you have the gunships that need fucking you know rockets to be taken out. And even then you know they can they can potentially shoot those rockets out of the sky. On the other hand, you, you know, you have hunter choppers that are, like, very fucking ineffectual at actually hitting a, a, a single target. They can, like, cover a wide area, but that's it. They can, like, drop an infinite amount of bombs that are also not doing too much. It's it's kind of weird. Again, it's kind of the, the whole problem of, like, you know, story and uh, gameplay segregation. And I guess to a degree, even ludonarrative narrative dissonance. Get in here, hurry! Civil protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Honestly, I wanna make an experiment. Can this guy actually die to the manhacks? You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh shit! Too late! Like, can he actually die to them or uh, is he just gonna slap all of them out of the air? Jesus! Holy shit! Double hit! <laughs> Holy fuck! Dude was going crazy. It isn't safe here. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going. Then you really got the fucking double hit on the two manex. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Okay, I guess the guy can defend himself. Fun fact, in this specific map, the crowbar uh, world model is hard-coded via pipe instead of a crowbar. Oh, I see. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. So, um... John, 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 do you know a command for spawning in uh, a weapon? Like, I don't, I don't think it would be GIF uh, crowbar, right? Do, do, do you know the command for spawning in the crowbar so we can check this? Yeah, it even makes weapon sounds. Actually, it makes pistol sounds. What the hell? No, wait. Is, isn't the GIF weapon so-and-so, doesn't it directly give it to you? Or does it still spawn it into the world? the world but I think I might check if you already have it first oh wait a second you know what I just realized there we go nope still not
Hey, it's a crowbar. Honestly, considering this is making pistol sounds, I feel like this might actually be its own thing. Because listen, the crowbar's making crowbar sounds. But this is making pistol sounds. Fucking bizarre. Come on, out there. Oh, wait, we can probably hear him dying. Yep, there we go. We'll be defined uh, in the MDL. Really? Really, that's the implication. My man dies to one man hack. After he fought off three of them, he dies to one. Really? Is that what we're implying here? I guess at least I went through the effort to actually spawn a man hack there, but still. God damn. You know, I'm currently wondering, how much would it change the gameplay to have the gravity gun early? Like, on the one hand, you'd have the problem that obviously these areas aren't set up for uh, for the gravity gun, you know? Like, they're very, they're all very, like, tight, very, uh, very cramped. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be that many uses for it either. Because, you know, the uh, the levels where, you know, they know you have a gravity gun, they usually set up in a way that you can use it in interesting ways. Like, hey, check it out. Here's a barrel that you can throw at those combines or uh, zombies. I mean, Ravenholm, besides being a fantastic fucking horror level, is also a very fucking well-designed playground for the uh, gravity gun. So, yeah, I guess uh, in these sections you wouldn't get too much out of it. I mean, I guess you don't get to... It, it might be somewhat similar to um, Nova Prospect, because, you know, there you're also inside, and you don't get to use the gravity gun maybe as much as you'd like to. Because, you know, Nova Prospect has a gimmick with the antlions. Alright, this music. Of course, my usual setup, because it's going to be probably dropping right there. Right there. Also, hey, first headcrab zombie you get to meet. It's kind of funny, because if you don't find this one here, then I guess the, the first time you meet one is legitimately in that, like, shanty town that gets shelled by headcrab canisters. Which makes sense. I mean, that is a pretty good introduction for the, uh, for the headcrabs and for the headcrab zombies. <laughs> Send him in his, his place where they uh, have a guy get crap. Exactly. I guess that one there is more so considered to be a an Easter egg because, technically speaking, that whole you know you climbing uh, down and I, I guess it's a jump scare, but you know considering the introduction of them in the shanty town is just so fucking well done. That 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 one in comparison is a bit of a weak sauce introduction. So I guess it's good, it's not official. Get crapped, Lamau. Where the fuck is the scanner? 
What do I need to go back here to uh, spawn it? I guess. What the fuck? Is the trigger to spawn it in back here? Really? Interesting. Either that was really fucking delayed. I like how, you know, because source being source, they occasionally look away from you when they're shooting. It's fucking funny to me. Okay, let's see if I can do this again. <laughs> fucking amazing. Oh, I love it when I get that uh, shot. Probably didn't really think about it. Never really noticed that you spent so long before seeing headcrab zombies. Yeah, I mean, that, that, like, that's... That's that's what I'm saying, like the whole Shantytown thing uh, with them is a pretty fucking good introduction. Like before the Shantytown, the only other headcrab you see is, uh, I'm pretty sure only Lamar. But, like in the sh uh, in the in the Shantytown you get introduced to the shelling, the headcrab like shelling, the rockets, headcrabs and headcrab zombies. And you know, you get a like first row, uh, first seat fucking viewing of what happens when a guy gets crabbed. Effort it takes to not constantly ride HL2 cult. <laughs> it is a good game. It is a very good game. Not perfect, mind you, but it is a fucking good game. I think we're allowed to say that. The then again, I mean, <laughs> I just I just noticed what kind of a amazing setup you gave me. Then again, John, you know, for you, it's in general, it's a very difficult thing to not constantly be riding cock, right? Hey, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mandatory John is gay joke. Tacos! Taco Tuesday. I mean, again, John, I, I know you're a freak for that valve cock in general, but yeah. I, I think with HL2, it's. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Ugh. Ouchie. But every time I play the game, I'm like, damn, this is a good game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> amazing. I got, I got one of the funny poses. Hey, look, check, check it out. He's just chilling. <laughs> he's 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 genuinely just sunbathing. Fucking draw me like one of your French metro cops. I do find it funny how sometimes you just find ragdolls in like the standard, you know, in like the standard position that a ragdoll gets spawned in. Like, you know, occasionally they, they try to pose them in, like, some interesting way. But I feel like more often than not, you just find them in, like, this sort of almost uh, A pose. They're yeah, knowing to properly pose them. I imagine so. I mean, I should know. I spent... Uh, way more years than I'm willing to admit posing ragdolls in Gary's mode. Also, you know, the, the ragdolls in HL2 are not optimized for posing. They're optimized for being corpses, not for being posed. Yeah, and Gary's mode has actual tools to pose ragdolls. Yep. And a lot of the, you know, custom-made ragdolls that you would use to pose in the scene are made in such a way that, you know, their, their joints don't fucking lock up the moment you try to, like, move an arm more than 45 degrees. Again, because originally the rectals are just supposed to look at, uh, good for corpses, not for posing. Makes makes one wonder how, however, you know, some of the early guys like the Oxstar ever fucking managed to pose rectals in, like, any kind of co convincing way. Uh-oh, uh-oh! Well, there goes all my armor. Ouchie!
Well, that's unfortunate. But I'm not gonna reload though. <laughs> it's really not that important. I mean, unless it's like it like sets off your uh, OCD. Is a fucking pack, uh, power pack still up there? I think it is. I that must have been, that must be from one of the man hacks. General way to do it in HL2 is by blowing them up with a grenade. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess that uh, leads to them at least having some kind of natural pose. You know, there's one aspect of Freeman's mind that I do appreciate, and that is, you know, looking at uh, HL2 through the lens of somebody, you know, through the lens of, like, realism. Because, like, yeah, the, the, the honest question would be, what the fuck is this room supposed to be? Okay, obviously it's supposed to, like, be here for pumping something, but like, okay, let's say, oh no, actually they have a broken catwalk here. Ah, I see. So there was probably supposed to be a catwalk over there that leads, but then again, why is the valve over there? Why not just put it over here? <laughs> it's having for, for having pipes and piping, yeah, exactly. Like, no, there's a, there's a broken catwalk here, so I guess originally an engineer was supposed to be able to go there but then again, you still have to climb onto the pipes, and you'd be like, why? Why make me climb onto the pipes? Just put the valve on the other side. And again, why have a valve? Th that's another thing. You'd never have a valve like this. I, I guess you could argue maybe it's an emerg emergency release. Okay, okay, okay. That actually makes sense. It's an emergency release to, like, you know, in case there's, like, overpressure going on, and one of the engineers, like, needs to immediately release the water, because usually you'd expect you know, changing water levels and stuff like that. They do that from a control room. So, okay, fair enough. Slap a sign above it that says emergency, emergency release and realism has been achieved. But on the other hand, what the fuck is this room supposed to be for? I mean... These are like the ancient sewers of the city, so... I don't know, maybe for filtration? They do have these vents here, but on the other hand... Why? Again, the fact that the level design manages to... You know, not have you not questioned it the first time you play it? Like, obviously, you know, after as many times as some idiot like me has played it, and of course, I'm gonna be like, oh, what the fuck does this room do? But, like, the first time you play it, you don't even think about that. You just walk through it and be like, oh, yeah, there was a cool area. I got to swim. <laughs> oh, you know, this whole story. Okay, there's a hatch up there. Uh, yeah. So much for the ladder. Also, why the traffic cone? Why just a random ass traffic cone there? Like, you know, I maybe, I would expect like, uh, you know, maybe a hard hat or some kind of like, you know, workplace equipment, but no, it's literally just a fucking traffic cone. <laughs> like, out of all the random ass things. And an industrial building with a bottomless pit. True. Or, you know, the fucking vent uh, at the start of Root Canal when you're still, like, going along the train uh, the train line and you enter that first vent a and it just loops, like, through an L section and then out again, which no fucking air vent in history would ever look like that. But, again, gameplay. Oh, yeah, lol. <laughs> That's what I mean. You never even think about that kind of shit. That's what I find funny about it. I mean, obviously they got better with it uh, over time. Especially, y y you see how much more um, consistent and thought out like level design and prop placement is in uh, Half-Life Alex. Just because, you know, they have the resources to, like, give each area its individual props. So, 
it, it, it does lead to this funny conundrum where HL2 looks very nice, still has an art style that holds up very well and is based on, you know, real life photography, which gives it some sort of photorealism, literally. But on the other hand, on the other hand, has like these weird ass liminal uh, spaces with like just random ass props all over the place. Look at this curved area and hammer map. Thought about it, I just didn't remember it. <laughs> Yeah, or, you know, what the fuck is this supposed to be? What is this room for? Like, the scaffolding implies that this might have been, like, a... Like, you know, a workplace at some point. Like, this might have been, like, a construction place at one point. And, you know, the rebels have repurposed, repurposed it for the... For the railroad. But even still, what the fuck? Okay, at least this makes sense. This is just a runoff for the sewers. Though, even then, it's kind of wildly elaborate. So fucking good at generic industrial urban areas. It's good at making them look a certain way that you don't think about how strange they are. Like, if you take the time to think about how fucking strange they look, it kind of falls apart, but it's good at masking it. Also, my, my frames are just fucking... My frames are just fucking disintegrating. Hey, what the hell? You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. We've got some ammo in those crates over there. Help yourself to supplies boys. and keep moving. Oh, and I, I, I know, I know. Fucking gameplay before realism, I absolutely know. I just, I just find it fascinating how good uh, the level designers were at masking, you know, just how little fucking sense these areas make. Like, you, you see that in a lot of areas. I mean, John, I'm, I'm sure you remember the fucking hotel in Max Payne. And how that looked more like a fucking labyrinth than any sort of hotel you'd ever see. Even even even, even for New York, it was probably a bit too, uh, too out of there. Oh yeah, this track. I do love the implication of this track of the OST being named probably another problem because you know that's one of the last things said before the resonance cascade so, sort of like a reminder like yeah look at what you did so I'm pretty sure these fences are just level geometry which is weird because they could just use the mesh whatever hey he still does the funny hop ah! Oh jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just wanted to fucking scratch my elbow. That looked better, uh, you think about it more. True. Honestly, I'd have to go through uh, HL Alex again. Because there, of course, you do have the, the caveat of, you know, VR making, uh, giving everything realistic size. So I do wonder if that uh, if that played a part in the level design and trying to make you know the places in uh, HL Alex look more realistic, because what the fuck? What the fuck? Are you seeing this shit? It's it's just floating. <laughs> I just imagine you flying upwards. Well, sound like you did the funny ragdoll IRL. <laughs> you seeing this shit? <laughs> yeah, you imagine just me ascending. It's like ah. We are, we have a chief floating table. I have no fucking clue why that's there. Okay, here we go. First proper introduction. Probably nothing important. HL2 is a perfect game. <laughs> no! No, John, don't say that. Cat is gonna make a video on how Half-Life 2 is soulless and Half-Life 1 is so much better. No, John! Watch out! Cat, he's right behind you. No!
I think HL would have done very similar level art to HL2. I'm gonna have to check. I, I honestly, maybe maybe after this, or if I if I have free time, I'm gonna have to play through HL Alex again and check how the level design looked in that. Because I feel like the levels in Half Life Alex were still consistent. Hey, a lot cleaner. Well, yeah. On the one hand, Source Two. On the other hand, just just more experience. Like, uh, well, Valve's mappers just ha uh, just had a lot, lot more experience of like making actual areas when HLA uh, came out. Hey, Doctor Freeman, I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this air. Oh, you mean like literally cleaner? Go. Doesn't have that grit. I don't know. It's gonna be tough dodging civil. Again, I have to play it. In the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. You'll find more help up at Station Seven, just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? I fucking streamed the game. I can just check out my stream. All right. And wait for YouTube to load my stream because I'm probably the only person to have ever clicked this in the last fucking two years. God, this just reminded me of how good Half Life Alex looks. I might, I might just have to play it after uh, after stream ends. Everything HL two is worn and stained and covered in dirt and rust. Hold on, where's the section in HL Alex where you enter the quarantine zone? That's where you know the game really begins. <laughs> What the fuck was I talking about? On the word, for fuck's sakes. No, that's in German. No, that's in Hungarian. Hey, she had cats. What the fuck was I going on about? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm doing a react anti to my own stream. Bread. Oh yeah, that was nice looking bread. Holy shit. Yum. Okay. But where was the entry into the quarantine zone? I think right there. Yeah. Normal ass clothes. True. Any second now. I don't even know why. Those YouTube can This looks fucking amazing. Though I did notice one thing, and that is, Source 2 makes like, really big use of fog, especially like in the distance, you see? Like, if you get at any kind of distance, it's already really I fucking foggy. I thought I'd zombie here. I, I thought the Combine sealed up the QZ. Ah, uh, this one must have squirted out. I've heard they've had trouble with barnacle spores outside the containment area. Hmm. Fellas like this. Probably not a one-off then. I'm not sure. I feel like it's more so they went for... Make making it look more dusty, like I, I like I feel like it doesn't look too oh different gosh. from HL two. I don't know. Shut the f shut up, Alex. Shut the fuck up. God, shut the fuck up, Rosalie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should probably enjoy the nineteen eleven as long as it actually is one. So, you know, it actually looks really, really fucking nice, but of course later you have to, well, fill it with your own modifications, which... It's all more washed out, TBH. Okay, fair enough. I mean, to be fair, I think it's more so just because of the better graphic and it looking more photorealistic, because technically speaking, everything would look uh, look rather washed out and dusty in, in this sort of environment. Like, I... I, like, I I mean, it might just be due to compression, but what, looking at this, I get the feeling, you know, everything's layered, covered in, you know, dirt and dust and muck Magical. and shit. Holy fuck! I never saw that. Okay, that's cool. I was going crazy about, this, uh, about oh the fucking boy. bicycle. Where do I get down to ground level and see the citizens? Wait, what does it say? Pylon 7B resupply yard. So I wonder what these fucking cameras lore, are. Lore, lore, more shit, lore. Go through, like. Oh, there we go. It's all like slightly more whimsical, if that makes sense. 
I don't know. Something, 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 something in Russian with exclamation mark. Well, you've seen it now. I'm sure you'll be able to return sight while I wait for the elevator. Oh, that was a sneaky way to disguise it. <laughs> Motherfuckers. I still don't have my ring elevators. Yo, how's it going? Are we good? Yeah, of course. we got the reactor. Easy peasy. I'm headed back to the safe house right now to meet Dad. Go. We'll be in touch. Stay safe. Oh yeah, you're right, they're actually wearing casual. What the fuck? Huh. Well, it's interesting to see some civilians like in non, uh, like in the non-blue uniforms that we all saw and... What is this? Oh, that's my TV. Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's turn this way. Christ. Ugh. Wait a second, the ending section before you get to G-Man... I feel like those, like, holograms of the uh, of the citizens all had, like, um... The blue uniform on, didn't they? Uh, got the fucking inside of the containment zone. Uh, used an old citizen model. Interesting, eh? Oh my god, you're right! It's literally a citizen from HL2! How the fuck did I never notice that? I, I think it's literally Mail 07, isn't it? It looks like Mail 07. No, it's, a, it's not an HL2. Are you sure? That looks like Mail 07. Really? Maybe it was just the angle, but... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it wouldn't be the end chapter of a Half-Life game without some, uh... Re Shut up, Sadzio. Fucking now you gotta wait for like two minutes while I open HLA. <laughs> well, fuck you too. We've already been here for two and a half hours, so... You know, why not stretch it out further? Motherfucker. I mean, obviously, it's hard to see because of the, like, blur and holographic effect. But I, I don't know. I, I feel like that's Mail 07. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this moment was fucking trippy. Jesus Christ almighty. This was fun. Like, th <laughs> thousand audio files, so it takes forever to open. This is good. What? Aside your stream with, like, no voice. Just silence. <laughs> or you mean this section? Yeah, no, no. or both. <laughs> no, the section. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just fucking with you. Honestly, it makes me want to play Half Life Alex again. Like, watching, watching this, all, all I can think of is I want to play that again. No, wait a second. His, his clothes look way too fucking good there. Maybe he's like a citizen they made for Half-Life Alex in the style of the blue clothes but went unused. Because look at look at those... Oh, God. You saw, you saw those creases, right? Like, that looked... That wasn't from HL2. Oh, you meant like a beta citizen, not like a Half-Life 2 beta citizen, but like a Half-Life Alex beta citizen. Oh, I see. Yeah, because like, okay, that makes more sense. HLA beta instead of HL2 beta. Okay. That makes way more sense. <coughs> 
Climb on in. Fire her up. Honestly, okay. Having seen the footage from HLA and looking at HL2, I guess the, the textures in HL2 just feel way, 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 way sharper. Like you can see every single little bit, a little bit of detail in it. it. It has like way more noise and like way more, you know, stuff like that. I don't think it's any more or less gritty. I think it's just like a difference in priority for the textures. Probably. I, I think it's... Um, honestly, I think it might just be the atmospherics, the the fog and everything, and that, you know, not ambient occlusion. Um, uh, what's it called? Not depth of field. Um, you know, s s uh, shit like fog and god rays and whatnot. I think it might just be that stuff which makes the, the image look softer than it is. Which makes sense, because while HL2 does use, of course, a lot of real-world textures, you know, photos, it is kind of an exaggeration. Also, I, I think I mentioned this last time I played HL2 on stream, but I do love that you get to see a tiny little bit of blue sky up there. I feel like it might actually be the last time because I'm pretty sure. Honestly, I haven't looked up in HL2 enough, but I'm fairly certain the rest of the game is probably only just overcast. DMU uh, images of old man. Oh shit! Just slid into my DMs, didn't you? Oh, I see. So they were origin uh, originally planning on keeping them in the jackets and shit. Why change that, though? That's weird. Like, out of all the things to change, why change the citizens to have, like, more casual clothes, though? That's what I'm wondering. It's so lame how they changed that. Like, it's kind of a weird decision to make. Oh, hi, Gonzalo. Welcome to, uh... <laughs> Welcome to me having been blackmailed into playing HL2 again. Um, but, you know, we're having a good time. How's, your day? How's my day going? Well, you know, same as usual. HLA has a lot of weird decisions. Also, I feel like at this point it's just a Valve-like tradition. Like, you know, if, if they don't retcon at least one thing in one of their games, they're not happy with it. Like, wait, hold on a second. Can we, th can we talk about that? Like, HL1 to HL2, they retconned, you know, the whole thing with Kleiner and uh, Barney and Eli. HL2 to HL Alex, they retconned, well, aside from the story retcons, uh, the, they retconned the citizens to have more casual clothes. Portal 1 to Portal 2, they retconned the, the cubes and the whole look of Aperture, uh, Aperture Science and, like, the whole look of it behind the scenes. Is Valve just addicted to retcons? Let's go Half-Life 2. You know what, I can appreciate that. No, genuinely though, can we talk about that? Is is Valve just addicted to retconning shit? <laughs> That's kind of bother me. Hi. Yeah, at this point it's tradition that I point that I point at G-Man and say hi. In my trademark, hi. Oh, fucking hell. Oh god! Well, that's a good sign. I got that one. Doesn't like enforcing cannon. Yeah, it's weird, doesn't isn't it? Mm. 
I mean, it's not as bad with um, Team Fortress because, you know, Team Fortress Classic is about as far removed from Team Fortress 2 as fucking Counter-Strike is. Was there like any large... Was there like any large retconning between Left 4 Dead 1 and 2? I mean, I know they changed the designs of the zombies, though. Actually, they reverted in that one. Like, any map that wasn't uh, Left 4 Dead 1 now uses the Left 4 Dead 1 zombies. Huh. I don't actually know. The design changes in HLA made it more uh, generic. I don't know about that. Again, John, you, you, agree, you, you said yourself, you might have a bit of a hate boner going on for HL Alex, because I, I think you've just been st uh, staring at that thing for way too long, my dude. Also, again, baked in lighting. Looks nice. Wait, is the shadow of the one plank that was here and fell down still there? Oh, I can't tell. E e even though, even though, I mean, again, I'll, I'll defend dynamic lighting any day. But, I mean, still, this looks nice. <laughs> What the fuck else was I going on about? Aside from, you know, just... Valve having a boner for uh, retconning. i staring at it under the context of what parts of this can I do better. <laughs> well, see, that, that's, that's already a very toxic relationship. Like, even these guys are just wearing the, like, white uh, shirt that's on the blue jacket. And, you know, the resistance members are wearing whatever the fuck they want alongside armor. Because, you know, they don't need to conform to no shit. I, I occasionally forget just how much HL2 struggled with nature. Like, they got way, 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 way better uh, with it in, like, Episode 2 and Left 4 Dead 2 and whatnot. But it's kind of funny to think just how much they, they struggled with, like, nature in HL2 at the start. I mean, maybe struggling is a bit harsh. Like, they, they do make it work, but you can definitely tell that, like, HL2 feels way more comfortable in, like, urban... Industrial settings. Yeah, yeah that, that's what I mean. I, it's 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 good for what it is, but you can definitely tell that they felt way more comfortable when you know they're surrounded by concrete and shit. Which is why you know episode two can kind of proved okay, Half Life can can do nature. It, it has its places. I mean, admittedly, after HL two. I mean, not, not because of HL2 specifically, but after it, it was kind of overused. I mean, Fear had urban industrialism. Uh, okay, to be fair, a lot of, like, the grey and brown shooters of the 2000s had more so... Well, they, they, they didn't have some industrial settings, but uh, also they often just had, like, uh, war zones, which, you know, are predis predisposed for being brown and grey and kind of... Okay. That never happened to me. Okay. 2000s are generally like urban industrial areas. I mean, makes sense. What's the easiest fucking thing to make in, in, in any map editor? A fucking rectangular block. Where do you find a lot of like, rectangular blocks in like urban industrial settings? Should I go for that seat? Ah, fuck it, let's go for that. I doubt it's gonna have anything that I need, but why the hell not? I got the Lambda Locator achievement, might as well fucking prove it. Even like movies. I mean, to be fair, like, a lot of movies using, like, industrial uh, environments for their sets kind of makes sense because, you know, there's a lot of uh, abandoned industrial environments or shit you can repurpose to make it look like that. Yeah, it was entirely not worth it. 19 bullets. <laughs> It was entirely unnecessary for me to get a come here, but fuck it. You know what? Might as well prove I know where the fucking lambda caches are. Do I actually know where all of them are, though? Oh, 
honestly, in some of the later parts, especially in Anti Citizen 1 and Follow Freeman, I might have forgotten some of them. Now that I'm thinking about it. Like, I'm fairly secure in my knowledge of all the ones that are in canals. But I do feel like in the later sections, I might just forget about some because I haven't played those in ages. Fucking how long would it take to play through HL2 in one sitting? Like, on the one hand, HL2 doesn't feel like it takes long, but on the other hand, sometimes it feels like it takes ages. Uh, the other five look nice. Yeah, it did. So we shot up the flare. Kinda funny that they went through all the effort to, like, give the Metro Cops the function to shoot out a flare, and they use it, like, what, twice in the entire game? Once in the, in, in the very, at the very start of, um... No, before the very start of Root Canal, when you're like running through the train yard, and once there. I, I don't think the Metro Cops use the flare. No, I think they use it once more in, uh. In, um. um, um where the fuck do they use it? In, I, th I think they use it once more in one of the sections here in Canals. Sequence evolving it. Lamau. With a bunch of dialogue and stuff. I mean, honestly, I, I I can't buy that this is something that you'd find in Eastern Europe. Like, this looks exactly like some sort of abandoned industrial area you'd find in, like, a post-Soviet uh, state. Such a badass title. The One Free Man. All citizens of the dangers of magical thinking. We have scarcely begun to climb from the dark pit of our species' evolution. Let us not slide backward into oblivion, just as we have finally begun to see the light. If you see this so called free man, report him. Be safe. Also, you know, the implication with the... With, you know, civil protection having fucking APC stationed here in the whole garage to, like, service them, repair them, a fucking surveillance station with, like, uh, you know, built-in terminals, cameras, security, and even an interrogation room. Like, I, I, I do like the, the implications that they were well aware of the railroad for a long, long time. And then we're just using it to like kind of corral all the uh, resistance members into one place to like e uh, easily keep an eye on them. Like honestly, if it hadn't been for Gordon, it it really does feel like they were like only maybe days, weeks, maybe a month away from raiding Black Mesa East and just fucking destroying the resistance as, uh, as we know it. Like imagine. Imagine if Gordon wasn't there, you know, if Black Mesa East got raided and he wasn't there to, one, fucking, you know, lead the charge on rescuing Eli and therefore, you know, motivate all the citizens in City 17 to take up arms, and two, if he wasn't there to, you know, kind of fucking suck up all the uh, Combine's attention and sort of draw, like, a big, uh, a big, like, light on himself. How quiet it is a lot of the time. Yeah. I kind of like how much the Combine use human infrastructure in HL2. It makes sense. I mean... Again, uh, I, I think I mentioned it back when I was working on my di uh, diorama, but the Combine are like the ultimate fucking opportunistic pragmatists. Like, they do not give a single fucking shit. If they see like some, if they see some like dirty ass fucking human structure that they can use, they don't care. They're like, okay, fine, we'll set up shop in there. 
it's it's why I sometimes kind of miss the some of the ideas from the HL2 uh, beta of like the even the citadel having been built out of like human materials, you know, with like tiles and metals and whatnot. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the way the citadel looks these days. Like, it's a very fucking cool look. But I do have to say, the implication that, you know, the, the Citadel was, like, just built out of recycled human material that they, like, just scraped together, it is, it is pretty fucking badass. What's an also HL? I missed that part of the combine. A very combine building be made out of combine metal. True. It's, it's what I mentioned during my time when I was researching uh, art styles for my diorama, is combine structures often kind of like look, they, they, they often look like some sort of cancer growing on a growing on a human building, if, if you see them at all. Like so often in City 17 you, you just see like a combine structure just jutting out of a, out of a human building unnaturally, like it doesn't belong there. Sort of, you know, reinforcing that whole idea of the combine, you know, being invaders and kind of like taking away what's ours yeah it, it, it is a it is a very important aspect to like the entire look like the fact that a the combine are very pragmatic B they don't give a fuck about uh, human buildings outside of how they can use them and C they're not shy of using anything they can Sometimes you have to have that, but sometimes it's just a normal building with a few terminals added to the inside. Exactly. Also, the warehouse had a padded roof, which uh, was weird. Yeah, I know. I, I, I every every time I see this thing, I, I, I every time I see this thing again, I, I'm like, yeah, that's a padded roof. But why though? Honestly, looking at that texture, that looks like. Now I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like almost like somebody took a picture of the bed, of like the mattress or something like that. And just... It's so weird, I don't get it. It genuinely looks like one of the Valve employees just like took a picture of his mattress and used this for like a padded roof. Which like, why the fuck do you need a padded roof in a fucking generator chamber? It is pretty cool though that they made it so that if uh, s several like metro cops die simultaneously, only one of them has like a call out. So you don't have like the, you know, the Overwatch voice just overlapping with its, uh, itself like three fucking times. Because like you know, technically speaking, three of them died, but only one of them had like a call out of the uh, of the unit being out of commission. Tires into the cops here. Yeah, I seem to... Wait, did you need to use an explosive for that? Yeah, maybe you could have done something like that. No, it's just random if they have a call out. Okay. That's slightly less cool. <laughs> I was hoping that like a whole system for making sure, you know, that they don't overlap, that they don't fucking ear-rape the player because you just killed five of them at once. Shame on you, Valve. Danger, high voltage. <laughs> Can we just talk about the fact that, you know, in this whole, like, um, generator building, they put the danger, high voltage, on that thing. I mean, the, the CMB, the, the combine markings and all, again, 
there's fucking combine monkeys here. Like, the, the, these guys are not freshly here. They've, they've been here for a while. This outpost has been active for a fucking while. Like, I, I, I fucking told you. Like, the environmental storytelling to me says that they were fucking ready to go to raid Black Mesa East and fucking kill, just destroy the resistance outright. So honestly, I think that's also another part as to why Gordon was dropped right here, right now. Like, it's not like he stops the, the he stops like Mesa East from being raided, but more so he just negates it. You see, yeah, the Resistance loses one of the biggest outposts uh, close to City 17, but they also gain a huge fucking advantage uh, through Gordon Freeman. Wait a second. Would it be therefore, de therefore fair to say that G-Man wants a sort of equilibrium? No, that wouldn't make any sense. He he'd have to know that dropping Gordon right here right now would lead to, well, to the things that happened to fucking City Seventeen erupting in a civil war and uh, the Citadel being destroyed. He'd have to have known that. So I guess it's less of an equilibrium and more so just everything is in place, like all the puzzle pieces are in place and uh, the last thing he has to do is plop down Gordon at the right place at the right time. Oh yeah, up, uh, up ahead is another Lambda Locator one. Yep, I do remember this one. For two reasons. A, because it was one of the ones that I missed and it fucking pissed me off. And B, because of this. It's one of the fucking cooler details in all of this. Like, they see you go down here and they're like, okay, fucking, let's rappel down there, we need to kill this asshole. Bye, head crab. Nope, the, uh, the APC is still shooting shit at me. I mean, fair enough, you, you, could, you could make the argument, you know, they, they, they left some crew behind there to, you know, keep the APC operational. But yeah, it's 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 a little things like that. Yeah, it's uh, exactly. It's probably not just two guys in there. Again, looks nice. Baked in lighting. It's almost midnight, and it's also almost been three hours. Honestly, this is not usually the place where I'd call it for canals. Like, this is usually still a section where I just keep going, but I think all things considered, it's probably safe for me to call it here. Like, I went in with this uh, into the stream with zero fucking planning, so I don't want to, want to drag it out too long. Being uh, loud makes a nice contrast when you turn it off, I think. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like you you, you suddenly enjoy just how peaceful it is when you're, when you're not constantly being hunted and, you know, have to evade missiles and whatnot. It's exactly like you said earlier, like um, canals. I think canals and also uh, Route 17 have a nice contrast between, you know, all the action and you driving and then just the, the silence when you stop at like a, a roadside or canal side uh, place to do something. Let's put in some music for my for my finale. Well, no, <laughs> no, this is my final act just yet. Yeah, just some random. Yeah, it really gives that that feeling of you know this is this is a fucking barren wasteland. Like if Gordon weren't there fucking shit up, it it, it would be quiet. It would be deathly fucking quiet. 
Like you, you really get the feeling of how desolate and dead the world of Half-Life 2 is. In, in those like really quiet moments where you just realize, holy shit, I don't hear anything. It, it, it really gives you that feeling of, wow, that, that everything is fucking dead here. It's definitely one of those things that sells just how... HL1 was dead or not. Well, okay, to be fair, there, there was a, there was a technical limitation. You know, because they, they couldn't have that many uh, fucking layers of sound effects on top of each other. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if HL1 had the technology of today, or even the technology that HL2 had, they would have had way more fucking environmental sound effects. Nah, it has to be. Like, for example, um, during... Oh, fuck, what, what was it? Surface tension? Like, you can occasionally hear, like, sniper shots and, like, uh, high fan shots in the uh, in the distance. I really think they, they wanted that to be, like, this big battle ambience, and they just couldn't. No, I'm pretty sure games did that or started doing that. I mean, hold on a second. Where the fuck did Ocarina of Time come out? Because that had a bunch of ambience. It also came out in 1998. Or is it because of the music? Hold on a second. No, that's what I mean. Like in Ocarina of Time during nighttime, you, you hear like all of these distant, uh, distant birds and all that kind of sound. Specific source. Uh, I wouldn't say everything. Again, um, let me get up uh, one of my streams when I was playing HL1. Oh god, what the fuck was surface tension? These days, I guess you can say every engine has- Shut the fuck up. Why are we taking this Freeman gun? Yeah, I- I- What lighting I was in. Yeah, actually, w with the classic lighting, even the- even all of the reflections- Oh yeah, wait a second. Uh, mandatory, it's your favorite section. It's, uh... I guess it wasn't this stream. What? Which one was it? Oh wait, I didn't finish... <laughs> I never even finished Half-Life RTX. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Nope, this was already Lambda Labs. Must have been the previous one. Look, Gordon, Half-Life. Arms is, uh, you know, has the fucking olive green. But the Bradley has the... You know, Here, in this section. That's what I'm talking about. Loud ass because, again, used to be just like the... Basically just grunts for, uh, for the Navy that can do amphibious assaults when the, you know, Navy needs to take an island. Oh, was I wrong? Was it was it the uh, next section? I remember there being a section where they tried to have like battle sound effects in the background, but you know, it was just occasional sniper shot and high fan shot and shit like that. I could have sworn it was somewhere in this in surface tension. Yeah, but I'm talking about like a handheld laser, like the Tau Cannon. It's something that you can you know, destroy stuff with. To be fair, it was really cool when I played it. But then kind of not cool at all the second time I played it. It was only cool because I was on low health low. <laughs> nah, man, it's... it's. Anyway, you mind staying here? Yeah, I'll wait here. No, you take it. Ooh. Damn it, now I want to play HL1 again. What the fuck is this curse? <laughs> oh, 
What the hell is this? What kind of hell is this? Wait a second. Patrick, air is not good. I'm fine. Whoa. Literally me. <laughs> Literally me. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, anyhow, music. <laughs> oh, fuck. Crippling source addiction. <laughs> I mean, no, I play other games in my free time. I've been playing Sifu, I've been playing Subnautica, I've been playing, I've been playing Cult of the Lamb, but somehow, when it comes to streaming, I just have a crippling fucking addiction for Source. I, I, I don't know what it is. It, it, it is horrible. It is... <laughs> a horrible, horrible condition. <laughs> Good God. Alright, um... Oh no, I missed the mark. The music's about to fade out. Oh, would you look at that? Just by by miracle, the, the music went back a bit, so I can do the proper fade out. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get going now. <laughs> Bye.